Boom. Welcome to Sidekick Games, hosting our Carbon 2185 campaign. Uh, this lot uh, are going by the name Big Dogs until they get fired by the mercenary group and I'll take on another name, at which point we'll do other full text to uh, look up on. Um, if you've been following us on other things, you'll see that Grange Live TV is still on the screen. Um, they've gone away from Grange Live TV as Sidekick Games is hosting essentially everything the channel puts on there. See my lovely bald head as it's going off screen a little bit. You need a new friend. I do. I do. Anyway, um, yeah, so the social media you see at the minute is changing. You can still, if you still look for it, you should still be able to find your way to us. Um, but if you wish to get there quicker, follow the buttons beneath, beneath Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and obviously the Twitch channel if you're watching it anyway. If you're watching this on YouTube, please jump on and follow where you can, subscribe. Uh, like. Like, subscribe, <laughs> notification <laughs> bell, uh, feedback, I'd love feedback. Um, I like feedback, keep it constructive. If you're gonna be a dick, don't leave feedback. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll quickly get in. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no announcement to Oh, I do have one quick announcement. The Haddo aspect that used to be on this channel is moved to its own channel and will be going live in, not this Friday, next Friday, I think. I'll confirm. It's got its own channel. You can go onto uh, Facebook and look for Haddo UK or UK Haddo. Augmented Reality Dodgeball. Have a look. It's really cool. It's really energetic. Uh, it ties me out. But yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's come out of Japan. They've had a World Cup. The World Cup will be streaming. Um, the results of that from last November, so you lot can see it. And more and more cups will be popping up this year, so keep lots of, lots of eyes out for that. Right. Uh, I'm sorry we're a bit late tonight. It's um, Dave's fault. It, it was, sorry. Yeah. Do we have the chat on the screen? Uh, we can. We can. Uh, I am now going to multitask badly, so. Me, 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 me. Stand by. Oh, look at that. Look at that chin. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bear with me, callers. Mr. Dave. Uh, da -da -da. Can't make it small. I could sit further away. No. Nope. Could you, uh There you go. We're about 10 followers Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we don't need to see you, Dave, do we? We don't need to see it. I need to make this smaller. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. 2020. What? Would that have been easier if you put it all on your laptop first? Uh, we're just gonna do logic. That's <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any. <laughs> yeah. And make the. Oh. Oh, you'd think. Well, that's not. Ha ha! No, no, that was literally just me lowering my chair, really. <laughs> sure, you. Dead to me. I don't know, that's a bit drastic. But yeah. Oh, we've got new ah, name tag these. You got what? You have put the black, so I might put them back oh, yeah. to. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. We'll leave it there. There's a game. Ah! All right, so thank you That'll for your that patience. Uh, da, da, da. No, what was I doing? What was I doing? Uh, hosting a stream. Hosting a stream. Welcome. Well, yay, Carbon. <laughs> uh, I did, did I even say we were playing Carbon at the beginning? Yeah. I don't think I did. No. We're playing Carbon 2185 again by Dragon Turtle Games. It is very good. Cyberpunk RPG, and it has been designed uh, on the inspired by the. Uh, Greatest role playing game in the world, open source licensing, etc. It's probably worded differently. But yeah, uh, it's really good, brilliant. It was a Kickstarter, it's uh, not long out. It's still pumping um, rule books out. We've got a couple left in Psychic Games, as as just behind Mr. Yeah, Hooks. Uh, there's one there, I think, and there's one in the main shop. So I believe we've got two left. Uh, and they are releasing some themselves, which they've only got a couple of copies left as well. If you look at Cyberpunks of 2185 on Facebook. Oh, oh, there you go. Wrong. Yes, uh, Dave's got one there. Um, you can find lots of stuff and other bloody bad that's going on regarding it. And they're going to release more and more stuff and we're going to play it lots and lots and lots. It's really good. It's really fun. We're having a great time. <laughs> so, session six, as you can see, we have 
Lauren, who is playing Kelpie, the scoundrel, at level two. So Wayne, if you're looking at this, it's level two. <laughs> level two. Then we've got Dave, playing Gabriel, investigator, level two. Yes. Then we've got Ian, playing Volk, hacker, level two. And then... What was that? Two. Two, maybe? <laughs> two. And then we've got Leon, playing Copper, Damio, or Damio, uh, level two. Level two. Oh, I've got a quick question before we get into it. You want level two? Level two. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all completely incompetent? No, just you. Not on purpose. Not on <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't in the plot doc. <laughs> you all just seem to have taken to it quite well. <laughs> I took to it first, I would like to think. <laughs> to be yeah, to be fair, you turned up <laughs> trying to be incompetent and then you were like oh, at the no. very start. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's have a quick recap for the lovely lovely folks at home. And uh, Copper wasn't here last week, so he says he's been watching it. We're going to test him now. <laughs> so the first thing oh, yeah, I've the, written... At least I'll stay awake for a few minutes. That's true. Well, the first thing I've written <laughs> on our, on our uh, recap is the party is now in a predicament. <laughs> <laughs> that goes... Uh, that's a mild way to put it. So, we currently have Gabriel. Oh, I'll get to that point. Small things make you happy, Wayne. And I'm not saying anything to that. Um, <laughs> So, last week we didn't have copper, so he stuck around with the jeep and the corpse of the synth sapphire that many sessions ago they'd been hired to go and get. Um, all the players are currently part of the Big Dogs Mercenary Company, and they were sent to Samoa to grab a synth and bring it back. Job done. They got there, they did stuff, they went to a warehouse, it wasn't Amazon, uh, and they got the synth. Dead or alive, she's coming with them. They killed a few Russians. Uh, they then went into a port town on the edge, on the east, on the eastern side of Samoa. Met a lot of lizard people that weren't lizard people. Turns out to be heavily body modded people. Uh, then they met some not anime twins, Dave, called Elizabeth, who worked for the Crown Estate. And they've uh, quickly made a deal with them that if they did 26 hours worth of work for Elizabeth, Elizabeth would give them a trip on their yacht over to San Francisco. And the job was to uh, turn the GPS on a submersible. Submersible? Yeah, that's Submarine. Oh. Submersible's a word. Oh, there we go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, on a sub. Uh, all they had to do was turn the GPS on. So they decided to go look for a boat. And by going look for a boat, they sent Gabriel, the investigator with really high intelligence, to look for a boat. He walked up to a couple of, uh, couple of Samoans, asked them about a boat, didn't like the answer, walked away. <laughs> It was very, very fast in common. He handled very poorly. <laughs> he did, he, yeah. He then saw a blue and yellow fishing boat um, further down the beach. It just dead fancy. It did look dead fancy. It didn't look dead fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bloody fishing boat, yeah. Uh, and decided to go down there. He then radioed his pals, Kelpie and Volk, and they all met up together just off the uh, on the beach, 30 foot away from the fishing boat. They gave swam out. Badly, nearly drowned several times. Uh, <laughs> found a Russian floating in the water, climbed aboard the boat, then Kelpie and Volk joined him on the boat. Then they looked around the boat, then they realised that it was actually indeed a fishing boat, but also uh, beneath it was another submarine, submersible, etc., that was attached to it via a wonderful airlock that they decided to get into. <laughs> After killing some Spider Max, they killed the Spider Max. Then spent a good three and a half hours not wanting to put their hand in goop. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, they put their hand in the goop. Bullshit. What? Dave! Oh. No! Dave, man. He loses one hit point every time he says mulch. He loses a level. <laughs> so, he went into the airlock. Uh, Volk and Kelpie ended up uh, aboard the submarine. Uh, whilst you were on the submarine, you touch buttons badly. <laughs> Bad touch. <laughs> Bad touch. Yeah. Uh, this turned off power to the submarine itself. Emergency power kicked in, and then the submarine started floating out to sea or to ocean. Pretty yeah. We got a submarine. Yeah. It's not working though. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Volks on it. Right. He might have got you in this mess, but he'll get you out of it. So we currently have. We currently have Gabriel sat on the blue and yellow fishing boat. On his lonesome. Yep. 
Um, Would any of the audience like to take a guess at how many hit points I've got? One. <laughs> Have you only got one hit point? So Gabe is currently sat on a blue and yellow fishing boat on his lonesome with one hit point. <laughs> and exhausted if I remember right. <laughs> Are you, are you exhausted as well? And, uh, swimming. Yeah, yeah, the swimming exhausted you. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 so, yeah. I'll rewrite this another time, but Gabe's in the shit. <laughs> Kelpie and Volk are currently on the submarine, Bobby no one. What did you do? Drifting, Bobby. <laughs> um, away from the coast of Samoa. Copper is sat guarding the jeep. And at the end of the last session, he radioed through to his... Oh, that's he radioed through to his uh, rest of his team to let them know that Sapphire had awakened. <laughs> the recently thought dead synth. Yeah, yeah and I believe that's cool. Yeah. Well, I kept saying I'm going to fix her, so I guess she fixed herself. She right. just needed to rest. She needed a long rest. That's what she needed, yeah. It's not, but now it sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the odds the copper just shed zombie and chins? <laughs> and it was Copper's birthday last week, so happy birthday, happy birthday. because we didn't see you last week. <laughs> Thank you. And he gave us cupcakes that we ate, and we ate Dave's as well, because screw Dave. Not mine too. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Dead, Dave. Dead. 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 Right, can I just clarify something? So yeah. the submarine was underneath the fishing boat? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and the submarine is now drifting off, but is the fishing boat still attached on the top? No, no, no. They, they disconnected it. But they disconnected it. Well, they disconnected it. Well, they disconnected it. actively disconnected something Your actions, happened. your actions disconnected it. Disconnected. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like the submarine is disconnected. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ship, stationary, submarine. Also, it's not the submarine okay. we actually needed. Right. Well, yeah, and it's not okay. the submarine that Elizabeth said, if you go turn the GPS on, I'll help you. They, they're on a separate submarine. <laughs> also, Elizabeth said she'd give us equipment to get down there. They so we didn't also, actually need a submarine. They discovered also, uh, Mr. Copper, that uh, the Shouldn't submarine they are on children. is probably, yeah, there is that, <laughs> uh, is probably what brought the Russians here that you killed in there, as it is a Russian sub. And we didn't find uh, like a bridge when we were at Well, we, we didn't get that. If you can get it working, it's probably a nice way of getting back to San Francisco, and then we've got a submarine. I mean, it's not a bad... Okay, so I've heard worse plans. So fix it. I can fix it. Hey. No, you can't. You're in a submarine floating away. Yeah, I can fix the submarine. Fix the submarine, then. I can try. You know, all the really time you spent as a submarine mechanic. I really want, like, a little gold camera. I'll just keep shouting, I can fix it. <laughs> all right, Felix. You're just going to keep shouting. <laughs> Hey, Keep sure. Submarine mechanics to break it, so you know. Um, so sapphires alive. Oh, death. Do we even have signal? Don't have as much water. You two, no more. So okay. Kelpie and Volk can speak to each other. Sup. But you, <laughs> but you can't speak any further than that. Uh, just as a reminder to you, Dave and other people oh. and uh, Leon, uh, Visser. Robotics is who they believe is responsible for the ship, which is a Holland, uh, Holland-based uh, megacop. They were in cybernetics, healthcare, and robotics. Cybernet, yep, cybernetics, robotics, healthcare, personal technology. I know this one. Uh, they have a reputation for places to go for safety, privacy, and really be a re rehabilitation for victims of a catastrophic injury. Owns a large portion of Holland's hospitals, enabling to offer high-risk insurance under certain agreements, even to cyberpunks. Uh, we also found a dead body floating around the um, hull of the boat and Which was the splashes dressed. at the front and it looked like a Russian, but we don't know who killed them. Okay. We do know they used a mono-edged weapon, we don't know what kind. Yes, oh, uh, yes okay. they were killed by a mono-edged blade. A straight, a straight, a straight yeah, sword. it was a straight blade. Very good. Oh, yeah. uh, it was not a katana. It was wasn't. Katana's curved, this was a straight. Oh. Oh. Like mono-edged mono claymore. Okay, maybe smaller. Yeah. A little bit smaller. Straight blade, more like between ninjas and samurais. Understood. I mean, I keep upgrading my knife, so I kind of want to say this. So. So. Uh, da, 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 who? Uh, in fact, we'll deal with Copper first, because you've had a bit of time off. So as you are sat in the jeep, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, you know, counting the sheep. Yeah. Um, the freaky is, kids <laughs> with the guns that Gabe gave away, <laughs> yeah. away from the jeep. <laughs> <laughs> um, you still see knots change throughout the time that's passed while you're just going. It's only been a couple okay. of hours. Like it's not been, okay. Okay. It's not been a, a, like weeks or anything. Um, 
I'm assuming you radio back through it with copper every time you spoke to Lightfoot. Yeah, yeah, we kept him in the loop. Yeah, cool. Okay. Until the uh, floating away bit, because we yeah. haven't got comms now. Cool. So, I will say, uh, just because we said it last week, that the message came through very crackly, very statically, breaking up that Sapphire was awake, and then it went dead. Okay. Yeah. So you still got that little gem of information. Um, so while you're sat there, the lizard, uh, yeah. the lizard folk, have you told Copper yet? Yeah. Yes, we told both of them. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah cool. So I, I was there when you told Gabe. So okay, yeah. okay, okay. cool. So yeah. yeah, so the not to lizard folk, yeah. still doing their job, stuff like this, not to change, nothing perks up your um, keen eye of danger sense. Okay. Um, or danger zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and while you sat there, yeah. just having a bit of a drink of water or whatever, yeah, yeah. you fancy, you hear a bit of a, like a, and you just look over your shoulder and you see two very, very bright uh, glowing blue eyes. They sort of like burst open mm -hmm. and then go real, like real low light. Um, like someone's been startled awake and yeah. then sort of realized that they're in you know, a bit of a bad way. Yeah. Um, and they're not where they expect themselves to yeah, be. Yeah, completely a thing. You can, you can see as her eyes settle and stuff, um, and they look, they've got that more, despite being the same, they've got that, that human esque looking yeah. eyes. You can, you, you know this, um, you know this sight a million times over. She's scared. Okay. And she's just sort of looking around panicking. And she's not saying anything, she's just panicking. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'll do is radio across. And sort of, sort of, guys, Sapphire's awake. Um, can you get back here? Sapphire's awake is the last thing you two hear. Can he tell that yeah. we're out of range, out of signal? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's handy. The other two are on submarines. Well, okay, well that's good. They're doing the mission then. Guys, yeah, you, you coming back? Mm. You get yeah. nothing good. Okay, right. um, Gabe, can you get back here? Um, not easily. Gabe, do you do you need me to come and get you? That might be wise, because we might need to go and get them. Oh, no, too, 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 just fine. You hear right. sobbing. Um, no, okay, Gabe, um, the the robot is crying. <laughs> and it is. That's our word. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> no, but the other said this. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Because the other sin have been completely okay with us biologicals. <laughs> so so <laughs> don't get me started on that. Okay, but anyway, back again. So, um, so yeah, Gabe, um, I'll come and see, see to you when I've sorted out Sapphire, yeah? Or get yourself back here as soon as. Um, and then uh, I'll... Probably worth getting the jeep down the beach, to be honest. Or just um, wipe them off. You still have no legs. Right. You're not there, I've not had that, I've had that <laughs> idea. <laughs> but thank you, it's a good idea. Oh, um, two minutes. Got her legs. Got her legs. Not sure. Yes, yeah, we've got her legs, we've got her arms. She's essentially cp 3 us. She's got legs and arms. She's all tied together, put on Copper's back, and, yeah. then, you, and then he put her in the Jeep, and that's where she's been since. That whole time while Luke Skywalk is running along with her. Yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> run, 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 and oh, so Copper and Luke are not the two characters I put together. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, like, look behind, I'll turn around to Sapphire. Okay. Um, are you, you're not okay, but you're safe. She's sort of, her head's sort of lolling like she's in a bit of a... We've got all your parts, <laughs> don't worry about it. We're going to keep you safe. Just you sit tight. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Uh, what's persuasion based on? Okay, so 18. Cool. So as she's like looking around and she's, she looks like she's in a bit of a, a bit of a daze as she's come around, her eyes, her, her lids are going. Um, you, you're talking to her and talking okay. to her and she start, sort, of, sort of relaxes a little bit and stops panicking so much. Okay. Um, <coughs> and her head's kind of dropped. She doesn't really make eye contact and she just sort of calms. She's like, who are you? Uh, my name's Copper, but I'm part of a team that's come here to rescue you and get you off this island. Where are we? 
Um, I don't know the name of the place, but I think we're somewhere near um, Hawaii. Where were the Where were the Russians? Are the Russians that were attacking you and hurting you? Oh, we took care of them. Nice. Put that in there. Just as a reminder. Something's just clicked here. Um, you radio say she woke up the moment that sub detached. This boat something to exist. Well, I'm wondering if it's her boat and they were blocking some sort of signal when they were attached. Uh, I reckon that sounds horribly paranoid, so you're probably right. Ask her about blue and yellow boat. Um, Sapphire, do you know anything about a blue and yellow boat with a submarine attached to it? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that then. We're <laughs> going to take a we're going to take a, a trip out just to um, pick up. One how, of my how did the Russians die? Uh, in fire. <laughs> in fire. As you say, fire. She's, you can sense the the change in just the way the her head moves. That. Almost like the fire was one of the last memories she had <laughs> before dying. Oh well. But it's alright, you're obviously better now. So <laughs> She um, looks at you and you can see um tears like like work like filling up around her eyes. And she says, um, did I die? No. Deception Jim. <laughs> Because you're here, so you're obviously yeah, bitchy, got better. Bitchy, really Past tense. <laughs> did you die? <laughs> no, you just went unconscious for a bit, but you didn't die. Unconscious for days. Just a little bit dead. Um, your Deception tear. Your synthetic soul left you. Um, Eleven. Well, the tears just start running and she sobs a little bit. As you say, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, you you went unconscious or asleep for a little bit, but you're here with us now, so you definitely didn't die. Where are my legs, my arms? Um, they're next to you. We just couldn't carry you all together. But they're here, and we can reattach them. She says, um, "Can you put them close?" Um, yeah, sure. So, so you lay her arms, aren't they? Yeah. Cool. If we've got room in the gym, <laughs> it adds you a lot in it. True. There's a lot of ammo in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a bit of space. So arrange all the rifles <laughs> and, the, yeah. and the armour. Like, if anyone throws a grenade in here, there's shit going everywhere. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so as you put as you put them like close to the sockets and stuff, you can see like, like the nano wire just lights yeah, yeah. at either of the joints and stuff, and the sockets start coming together. And you just see it start meshing together Ooh, and shiny. the limbs sort of pull in and then it takes about two minutes maybe maybe a bit less and her arms and like, she's just like moving them around and stuff like it's like she's been tied up for a very very long well, time and she's just like wiggling her fingers and like yeah. cricking her neck and stuff like this well so far whilst you're healing yourself and yes, you're sorting yourself out whilst you're sorting yourself out <laughs> um, one, uh, one of my team is in a bit of trouble so I was just going to drive over and pick him up so, whilst you're setting yourself out in the back seat, I'm going to get on. <laughs> oh my god. Don't mind me, love. She, <laughs> don't mind me, hey, love. Hey, if you guys can roleplay having an intelligent 18 character, I can damn well play having an intelligent 8 character. <laughs> Do you have not roleplay an intelligent character? Yeah, Dave. <laughs> I, I met clever people. So, like, like the good old movies of the good old days. <laughs> Just see Copper adjust his mirror. <laughs> you see Sapphire just putting on a vest for some reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, so as 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 she's regaining her composure, um, <laughs> putting her arms back on. Yeah. Um, you set off in the jeep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. There's no test needed. You know how to drive. Um, now that you know you've worked out where they're on board and what yeah. I want you to work with you on it. Now, we're not in my, like, <laughs> danger being pursued in a yeah, tunnel. It's not for you. So, you so. set off, um, you just start driving through the town at well, a normal uh, pace, I assume. Well, like, um, can we somehow using um, like our set of, uh, sensors actually tell where Gabe is? Yeah, he's not, he's, he's not far at all. Like, okay. Essentially, towards the dock, yeah. when you get to that dock bit, if you turn right down the beach, you can see him. 
Okay. He didn't obviously he engage, engage, engage the hover. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. didn't he didn't go anywhere complicated. Right. Gabe were coming for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was thirty feet off the coast. <laughs> really? That part? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um so you drive down. By the time you get to the dock, yeah. Um, you check the mirror again and Sapphire looks completely different. She's gone from that original where she was pure synth with no like human esque yeah. um, bits on. Um, she's now flesh, oh. hair, uh, clothes, but you didn't see her put any on. It's like she's just like sort of developed and type yeah. of thing. Um, her hair is the same colour, it's violet. Uh, she looks very similar to Kelpie in the face. And her clothing is um, incredibly casual, just like you can't really see the trousers, but they're combats. <laughs> so she's got okay. like these combats on, boots, uh, a, a t shirt, a jacket. She doesn't look, I say special, but she doesn't look, she's yeah, not yeah. like. She looks inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. looks casual. Safa, so you're looking better. Uh, thank you. Are you feeling better? Oh, I'm feeling okay. Good. Uh, you see her grab a 21st century pistol and she goes uh, and, and, and takes it apart All right. <laughs> and then puts it back together in seconds uh, and she throws it down to the side and puts the seatbelt on. Am I right in thinking that you don't need that anyway? <laughs> she puts the seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, and I'll pay attention to driving. And, 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 just, <laughs> and, and just sits, she sits really like, and, like nicely yeah. and, and just stares out the window. So you get, you're at the dock bit, that's what you're seeing. You look mm-hmm. down the right, now after him telling you the blue and yellow, not submarine, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> off there, you drive, drive down, engage, hover, just yep. go over the sand, off. Um, so where you are to where he is, it's about 30, 40 feet. So which is really close um, to the beach, but it essentially really shallow and then boof, right, just drops. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's on the boat. Are you still in the thingy? Have you come up on deck? No, I, I was staying down in case, like you know, there was a stiff breeze. <laughs> um, stiff breezes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm in an hour about going to search the rest of the boat and trying to find out how to drive it, or just not dying. So, so you're yeah. there. You can see the boat. You can't see Gabe. Gabe, um, we're here. We just can't see you. Where are you? Um, I'm in the hold. I think there's enough room on the deck for you to put the jeep down. Is there? Uh, no. <laughs> no? It's only a fishing boat. Uh, you can probably get the Jeep in there space-wise, but you wouldn't be able to get it to the hold. No, no, it's just like on the end of the boat. Oh, on the deck? Yeah. Just buoyancy then, that's yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, land the Jeep on the fishing boat. <laughs> For space. <laughs> Gabe knows what he's talking about. Of course he does. <laughs> Intelligence 18. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Well, right. Had a submarine attached and didn't fall over. Cool, so, so the size of the deck. Yeah. He doesn't understand buoyancy. Give or take an inch size of the Jeep, so yeah. I will need a roll. A uh, drive roll? Yeah, land. Uh, vehicle land. Yeah. Hey! I don't think the buoyancy is going to matter. Yay. Nice two. That's a two on the roll. Um, which is a six. Cool. So as you. As you <laughs> I thought it was going to be a nap then. I know, when he celebrated, I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, blind, just puts a blindfold on. <laughs> but the problem is, he put a blindfold on. <laughs> so uh, you hover out. Yeah. Uh, you can see that the deck is big enough. Yeah. Or it looks big enough. So you start trying to come in with the old uh, hover car. Mm-hmm. And we got minions. If it does get loud here, viewers, it's because they're playing Underworlds in the back room. Uh, the hover comes in. You start trying to land it down. And you just bump into the two um, like cockpit areas that are on the deck. Right. Do a substantial amount of damage. Didn't the metal work? You see uh, like broken bits of like oh. glass piping just break. The yellow and blue of the uh, ship sort of dulls. Like it's almost <laughs> like you scrape the paint off. <laughs> I didn't really know how to describe that in twenty one eighty five. The jeep's all right. No, it's a hefty vehicle. Hefty vehicle. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, you fail to land on there. Uh, Sapphire doesn't bat an eyelid. She just sort of like, as you're bumping, she's just like looking out the window. Gib, somebody hits the yeah. ship. Copper, <laughs> uh, I think I need some help. Oh, so you can't get up here by yourself? 
Are you attacking the boat? No, 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 no. They're not attacking. I'm, I'm, I'm just car land. There's car on a <laughs> boat. Oh, do you want me to come and give you a hand? Uh, I want you to just come and get in the car, really. Oh, can do. <laughs> If the submarine's no longer there, we and, we, and it's just a fishing boat, do we even need the fishing boat? I don't think this is just a fishing boat. That's my point. I'm finding her just Well, okay, come up here, and you can meet Sapphire. Sure, let's get that on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so you go up on deck? Yeah. Cool, you see a, a jeep <laughs> <laughs> hovering, um, how far off, 10 foot, 15 yeah. foot? Just up in the air off the deck, not on the ship. <laughs> you may just be spectators. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I hover it so it's uh, rather than up that it's next to the boat yeah. so that he can actually pop across? You're going to just jump across as he does it, I uh, think? That's the plan. Cool. <laughs> what could possibly give go wrong? Give me, give me an athletics check. It's a very low DC, so it should be fine. Oh, is that <laughs> <the best we're laughs> fine? You, you should all know that after last week, I had to find you dots. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first rolling anger of this D20. Oh, 18. And that'll do. You're fine. Yeah, you just leap across. Okay. Uh, right. Gabe, you're now in the... Passenger front, yeah. Yeah. Behind you, directly behind you, is Sapphire or someone that looks very much like Kelpie, but is very obviously not because you obviously know what Kelpie looks like. Gabriel Sapphire, Sapphire Gabriel. Uh, he hello. Hey, how's it going? What are you there? Um. <laughs> no, no, just unconscious. According, just unconscious Gabriel. According to your friend, uh, I didn't die. Inside check. <laughs> Inside check, Gabe. <coughs> Where's inside? It's, it's I. Oh, it's not inside this one. It's uh, sense motive. Oh, sense motive, sorry. Okay. I may have played a different RPG today as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Unholy 20. Unholy 20? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, She's the Wee. When she says, according to your friend, I didn't die, I was just unconscious, you you can read it all over that she's covering for copper. Oh. Well, he's no big robotics expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She just nods, sort of does a bit of a, a smile and looks out the window again. She seems very distracted at the moment. What do you two plan so, to do? Now you're in the car, I'll let you talk it on. Um, let's go back to shore, not waste any more fuel unnecessarily, um, and uh, hopefully those two will get back in centre range. Or comms range, sorry, not centre range, it's not Star Trek, is it? <laughs> I mean, all, comms range. <laughs> all good tabletop parties went along the lines of, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when the party's put up. <laughs> well, well, that, that's that's that, 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 we need to find the bridge first. Maybe leave the weapons alone for now. So, just checking, Sapphire, that. You've never seen that boat before. She, she looks out the window, just shakes her head. It just looks like a fishing boat. <laughs> I love it. It looked like a fishing boat, but it had a Russian attack. So Soft Yorkshire. <laughs> oh, she's probably wrapped it that part. Say it again, Gabe. Uh, it does just look like a fishing boat, but it's got some weird tech going on. And there was a Russian attack sub attached to the bottom of it. And we you woke up that? when they attack sub detached. Oh, no, you woke up when the power... Did the power go off? Oh, no. The power went off and we detached at the same she, time. She, she looks at Copper for answers like, what is he on about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I was with you at the time. The shop speaking, but... Our team went online, uh, you woke up. I don't know. Do you have any good ways of getting off this island? Yes, Pete, they all levelled up. Uh, a, a boat? A plane? So you haven't got an exit route then? Like the boat that we just had? Um, yeah. I used to leave on the, on the ferries. The, the what? Ferries. 
the, the boats that carry people. <laughs> <laughs> you think oh. being an expert rescue team, we don't know that. <laughs> I mean, wasn't there when we tried to uh, the um, Sapphire, the ferries that you went out on, was it from this port or the one at the opposite center, side of the island? It was from Tobiah. Okay. That was the word it. written under the swamp. Yeah, under the swamp. Yeah. 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 I keep forgetting what they're on last things. <laughs> Where was that distribution circle we found you with? Well, he come on. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding ding! <laughs> we have a winner. I feel like that's karma because we didn't have all the lizard people. We did though. Eventually. Yeah. Only took you four and a half hours. <laughs> Got those lot of luck eventually. They could have noticed it. They were interacting with them themselves, but no. True. True. It, it's owned by the Crown Estate Corporation. Yeah. Say again. Mm-hmm. We figured that. How does Vissa fit in? I've never heard of Vissa. Inside check? Both of you. Uh, sense motive. Wow. 21. Jesus. 14. <laughs> they copied it, alright. <laughs> there, there is... So when she says never heard of it, there's a slight pause in her sentence. That not necessarily means she's lying, but she doubts herself, but then his confidence is right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, but so what would you, if it's not two personal questions, Jim, will we you without arms and legs? Um, <laughs> what were you doing? Um, Tact was not part of his intelligence stat, was it? No. No, no, no. that would have been people, obviously. Yeah. It, it was my HQ. It's where I uh, worked out of. So you work for the Crown Estate? Uh, yes. Were you made by the Crown Estate? Or, or do you just work for them? Uh, I, was, I was created by the Crown Estate. She's still looking at me. Um, just checking. Why Russians? <laughs> Why Russians? Oh. I, I don't know. The Crown Estate is British. That makes sense. <laughs> I mean... Any idea why Russians had you hooked up to some sort of cyber pillory? Thing? Uh, they, they didn't hook me up. That's where I'd get my um, upgrades from and regeneration of such. Uh-huh. Yeah. What were the Russians doing then? Uh, they were talking to me about a mercenary company. Oh. But they, well, we'd only been talking a little while, and then explosions happened and fire. You f- you hear sadness in a voice. I feel bad for them right now. <laughs> Any idea what they were looking for? Uh, I don't know. Because they were searching that place. He didn't. Um, um, <laughs> the the fire. The distribution centre. Um, they used to. They used to uh, ship uh, black market goods all over like the mainland America. Okay, I'm gonna whilst you're chatting, I'm gonna take the vehicle back. She sort of, as she's answering you, she's just sort of like looking out the window and just speaking to you while right. semi daydreaming. What's up, Al? Yeah. What are you looking towards? What are you looking at? Just the sky. Why? I like the blue. Okay. She's been on the ground for a while. Yeah. Are you taking the jeep back to land, did you say? Yeah, just that. Um, are you going anywhere particular or are you just parking up on land? What? Um, beach? <laughs> yeah, just, just, just on the beach somewhere. Uh, basically, yeah, I'm taking it somewhere somewhere inconspicuous. So that the fact that there's just a hovering jeep out, out in the next middle of water <laughs> next to a boat doesn't look weird. It's okay. just 21 like years All the jeeps are hovering. <laughs> so you, what, you just get back on land? Yeah. Drive? What, back in the town, back where you were parked before? Or? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yep. That, that works. Good that's good shit. Again. <laughs> cool, so you, all this, this conversation will have happened while you drove yeah, yeah, around yeah, it. Yeah. In game music now. So you're parked up. While, you, while it's all bumping around and hitting the deck and that, she doesn't, she just sort of sits seat belted up, just again, sort of moving with the rocks. Mm-hmm. So, 
what I what I'm struggling with is obviously about submarine is how the Russians got here. Why did they dock with a Vissa Robotics fishing boat? And then how the hell did one of them get monobladed on the way off the boat? Are you asking me? How does he know that they didn't? I'm, I'm talking out loud. I'm not saying that I'm on the street. Well, uh, hopefully somebody will jump in there. Do an insight check. Just you, Gabe. Are we setting them over? Unholy 20. <laughs> um, her eyes are not as bright as they were when you saw her in, uh, downstairs, uh, down in the distribution centre area. But when you say monoblade, there's a recognition that sparks in her eyes, but she just continues looking. These, as you're spotting this in her, the way she's acting, speaking, and the sentences that she's, that, and when she's listening to yourselves and those reactions that happen when you guys speak, they're more subconscious recognition rather than, mm. rather than she's decided, I remember this type of thing. Okay. I should probably get a thesaurus. And come up with some <laughs> words. I know like six words. <laughs> And there's the source. I know, like six words. Well, watch the six. Boobies. I thought it was brave. That's not the first word. <laughs> Say that again. I'm asking Sapphire if I can see her hands for a second. She shows you her hands. They, they look human. They're, um, yeah. They're a shade of human. So, no obvious augmentics, nothing like, you know. An opening for a monoblade to come out of. Give me a. Well, she's. Give you her hands. Immediately you tell she's a synth, because you, you get that. Yeah. But seeing as she's given you, volunteered her hands to you, give me an investigation check, oh. Mr. Investigator. Uh, I'm 20. Jesus wept. <laughs> tell Rose I'm buying some dice off <laughs> I'm not going to get any tonight. Hey, I only rolled the <laughs> You only rolled a 12? He's got plus 8. Ah, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. Well, that's because, yeah, he's an investor. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're definitely augmented. Uh, oh, let me see. Give it a sec, give it a sec. Din, 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 din. Oh, I thought that if she can regenerate that quickly and actually change the shape to include clothing and hair and flesh, she can probably change the shape to actually have a monoblade if she wants to. So what you notice on a augmentation <laughs> is... Uh, let me just find it, mate. So. Also, she was hooked up to sort of giant thing when the Russians got here, though. So both her arms are augmented, mate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And on her left arm. Two sets, two sets. The call is important to us. <laughs> <laughs> You're number fifty-seven. Um, so her left ha- her left arm, yeah, mm-hmm. seems to. Now, give me an intelligence check. Just a standard intelligence check. Natural one. Cool. Ah oh, yeah. <laughs> so her left her left arm uh, is something that you know to be an infantry arm. You don't know what level of augmentation it is. Um, as we most augments, they obviously vary in. Uh, how they get better and better, etc., etc. You don't know what level it is, and the thing that's making you a little bit confused as you see that she's got an infantry arm, you can't pinpoint why you think it's confusing you. Right? And on her right arm, Uh, yeah, there is a. Give me an intelligence check. Jesus. I'm only 20. <laughs> um, she has an advanced mobile dexterity unit uh, installed in her right arm. What you realise about this is normally that sort of augmentation is both arms that require that. She's only got the one arm. Yeah. She's got one super fast arm. 
Okay. Just had so arms, depending on the mood. One of her arms helps her in an infantry style scenario, the other one in a mobile dexterous scenario. Did we pick up all the right limbs for you? <laughs> <laughs> she just takes her arms away yes. from you and just nods. I mean, there weren't any other ones. I was just wondering if we picked up the wrong box. Then we got all the boxes in the room. Pretty much. Oh, I've got that weird thing. Oh yeah, then we get the basement yeah. out too. Well, the yeah. basement's really big. Yeah. Got all the bits. Anything with submarines? No. <laughs> Shit, me neither. Come on. Sapphire, is there anything that you'd like? like this is your or drink shed. or this is uh, um, yeah. anything you'd like to do whilst we're waiting for our... I mean, I would think someone needs a rest. Yeah. Can I go for a walk? Sure. Ooh. Oh. So she just pops a belt, opens down, just starts going oh, for the walk. Go in. Cool. Right next to her, or are you just staying back, keeping an eye on her? Not like that. <laughs> you got 10 metres. <laughs> so you just go walk with her? Yeah, hold yeah. her. Cool. Right, just casual. She's yeah. very quiet. She's very. Just here in case you want to talk. Yeah, she's very. Thank you. She's very um, inquisitive. But not like child that was, she's rushing over to everything. She just. Everything keeps catching her eye. Yep. So while you go for a walk. Copper. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hang here and try and recover a bit. I'll just be ready if you need me. Will do. <laughs> Good now now we've done that bit. I thought we'd get the pipe back together again and now we're just splitting. Splitting in Sorry, Eddie. On the Russian sub. <laughs> so last thing you heard. Yeah, <laughs> Adam West. So when um, last thing you guys heard was South Wales work. Uh, you've got the emergency light on the sub, and you can feel that the sub is drifting. Back to the bridge. We don't know where the bridge is. Wasn't it where we came in? No, that was just an airlock. Okay, let's Sorry, keep going. Sorry, uh, Is it still an airlock? Yeah, it was the airlock. Decompression. Where you guys came in, yeah, it was where airlock decompression. Should we go down the long corridor then? Does, do the lights seem to be guiding us a certain way? No, they're not guiding you a certain way. So it's not like emergency lighting or anything? It's emergency it's lighting, emergency. but not. it's not like on a plane where it's yeah. like exits are here, here, and here. Um, but we still haven't gone down All that All that rolls are pointing up. <laughs> oh, we haven't gone down that long corridor with the door in the end. You haven't done that one yet. That's we, probably okay. the no. Yeah, that's, that's the only one we haven't checked, I think. Uh, yep. Like you tried the bunk room, you tried to get into the weapons room, yeah. which may have caused all this to... Uh, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the quarter, quarter split on the tea thing. No, the tea uh, thing was the bunk room. So the tea was thing. mid... So it was up, then a tea, then up and a door. So the, we were and in the tea. And the tea was the bunk and the thing. Yeah. I'm doing well on that now, so I'm checking. So the tea was midships, was it? No. Yeah, so it was midship, and it had bunk room and weapon room. So we looked in the bunk room, we... Tried to look the weapon room. Yeah, we, we cocked up at the weapon room, and now we need to go down and to the final door. And can you tell whether or not that's after a port from where you're... No, so you guys came in this okay. room? Yeah. Decompression pipe. And you went up there, you checked the bunk room. You check the weapon room, I turn it off, of that. and then you've got that. Okay. Yep, so we'll go down to that other door. Is that what you drew? The portable version. Yeah, exactly. Well, at least, at least the description worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the map reading. Oh, we'll go down to that other door. Go. That's the map you're using. This is the map reading. <laughs> just right down my hand. So you go down to the other door, in Russian. Yeah. It just says engine. And then if you look through the glass, you can see where the main components to the uh, engine side of the submarine would be. And then at the other end, there's another door. And we don't have any more doors left. Yeah, the, through this door. You've noticed immediately everything's gone LAN. We've got what? LAN, local area. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Right, has, uh, is this door uh, trapped or locked? Uh, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Is it trapped? You can have a look with your investigation. It's one of the twisty hands. Oh, it's a strength lock. Well, yeah, so it's, it's a. 18. 18, it's not trapped. Okay. Um, what's is there any movement on the other side of the door? Perception check. See for the thingy. Oh. I'm glad I switched on the last minute. That was a 20 something. Cool, that will do. 25. 
Um, so straight down the corridor with all the uh, engine parts of yeah. the sub, uh, you can see there is a figure that is leant back against the, the wall, so it'll be facing you, and they're sort of slouched on the head, and they're going, <sighs> really short breaths. There's someone in there. Oh, turn on, I have a hammer. There's a strain, oh, they're, they're getting colder, they're dying. Cool, there's someone dying. Cool, right, I'm going to get on the gun. Do you want to try and hack the door? What is it? No, it's not an electronic block. Oh, it's not an I can hack a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> DC will be high. <laughs> I can hack a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any, like, lock picks or anything. No, it's literally a wheel. Oh, it's a wheel, but it's locked. It's, is it literally just, it is locked. Locked. Like with a key or a keypad, no, or is twisted. it just twisted? So it is likely the other side has been locked when the emergency alarm went off. And okay, yeah. one Should of we the bang the door and see if that person can crawl? I mean, they could just try and shoot through the glass. They could, but I'm guessing it's, it's pretty. You, you didn't see. You didn't see a. Um, uh, firearm or anything there. I mean, you roll really hard. And section. also, it'll be pressurized glass. What is this wrong? So it will be very, very tough glass. Yeah, well, how big it is glass? thick. I mean, you can you can physically see that the glass is a good three inch from the door. Uh, yeah. Again, you can have a go. <laughs> I don't mind just shooting. I, mean, yeah, I, yeah, shoot I don't think we should shoot the door. I'll, I'm holding my knife. Um, but there's no way that we can try and unlock it from this. Well, side. the power is down for one thing. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what's causing it to be quite difficult to get through this door is there's no power. Is there So because there's no power everything's going to is safety there the sub system? There will be, yes. Can we see any Give me an intelligence check. Or both of you. Nope. Cool. Not <laughs> one. Obviously. Not one. Um <laughs> Who needs there? So when you when you you're looking around for the ventilation Volk's like, motorbikes don't have ventilation systems. <laughs> <laughs> from what you can remember, um, from your days as a submarine hobbyist, <laughs> um, the there will definitely be a ventilation system on a submarine that you definitely will not fit in. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Is there like a dead panel next to the door? Nope. There's no kind of panel around that door. Alright, should we just bang on the door so you can get that person? Oh, sorry, I don't know, I'll just get charged now, so... Alright, bang on the door so, and yell and see if we can get that person. Are we yelling help or are we yelling we're here to help? We're here to help. I mean, we also need help. Can you speak Russian? Yes. Do it in Russian. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what I was waiting for, I was like, what? <laughs> Do it in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> so you bang yeah. on the door, boom, 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 and shout. We're here to help. Hello, no, we're here to help. <laughs> that's not Russian. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for you to just be like, "Dad, like, what the fuck?" <laughs> um, that's the only Russian word I know. Uh, I know about four. Did I see seven? <laughs> I know Dad. I don't know why, but I know Dad. <laughs> you know four Russian. Give me a Russian word. Oh, Oscar. Sukre. Mm. What's that? Uh, Bitches. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from Katja. <laughs> <laughs> Not John Wick. No, so, a drag queen. <laughs> I knew more, but that was ago. He says it in Russian. <laughs> uh, you bang on it, and you you can see that the person at the other end responds to the Russian. Uh, and as they start like coming forwards, and they sort of look up, and they can see you know, your equal face. Oh, I'm wearing a helmet that the Russians had. Yeah. Okay. And the glass. So they can see your equal helmet. <laughs> um, they get about five, six feet as they're sort of like dragging themselves. They hit the deck, and then there's a pool. That didn't work. What you do, cotton on, is if they're bleeding as heavily as that, it's reason. This is gonna be the stabby person in there. Oh. <laughs> Mono <Mono-blade. laughs> I wonder if a stabby person would have a grenade on. <laughs> Next to an engine. <laughs> they might start it off. <laughs> what? They might start the engine off. What if I break the glass and flood I'd the I'd be more worried that the engine is in a submarine. <laughs> We all, like, I, I think I'm wearing one of those, like, suity things. Give me an intelligence check, Walk. <laughs> uh, 18. Cool. An explosion in this submarine will kill you both. It's a bad <laughs> idea. Can I have a bad time? Um, Can I roll intelligence to try and make him aware of the door? 
Uh, get the power buckle. Yeah, that's what I meant for a panel. I could use something on me to power that. So up. not not on up. not on that door. There isn't. Um, if you, with that intelligence check, you reckon if you go into the bunk room uh, where they will have all had like personal plugins to recharge their not iPads. Um, tablets. You yes, tablets. Tablets with a double D. With a t- <laughs> You reckon. Um, like Greg's with a double G. <laughs> uh, you reckon you could probably like short circuit enough to maybe get some power there, but it'd be it wouldn't be hacking, it'd be computing. I mean I probably have enough gadgets on me to power something if I really need I still have the beacon, for one thing. You can use my pocket computer. Oh your intelligence you reckon the beacon will give you enough of a, a portable battery type scenario oh, that you could get certain things to happen on the sub, like open a door. You wouldn't be able to rig it up to go, oh, there's a, there's a bonus that's engine for you. a panel to plug in the beacon from now. Yeah, but there but isn't a panel. I know, that's the door. I was thinking about that. <laughs> but you, uh, reckon, you reckon with that intelligence you could do it from the bunk rooms? Cool, let's go back to the bunk rooms. I might have an idea. Okay, I'm going to ready my gun then just in case anything comes out of there when you've powered it back up. Give me a perception check as you're walking away from the car. Uh, not you, not you. 22. 22. Um, at the far end... So through your glass room and the glass at the other door, on that side, you just see someone move across. Yeah, there's someone in there. There's someone in that. Not in that room. Yeah, in the bridge. In the, in the other room, what we're assuming to be the bridge. Ooh, what what thing remember, right? you both know it's not a massive sub. It's a, a squad size, get them in, get them out sub. It's probably going to be our stab you mate. So, so that, I'm that gonna is probably them. the last room, if there was one. I wonder if I can control airflow. What's up, Kale? There is a ventilation system. We can also put on those um, like scuba suits. What? For flood the whole submarine? No, if, in, ca- in case we can't localise the airflow. Yeah, but there wasn't an air attack. It was a breathing apparatus, wasn't it? Yeah, well, well it'll, it's for water. Yeah, so yeah. vacuum? Not oh, is it a rebreather type thing? It, it's designed to breathe underwater, not in places without air. That so, yeah, so it's yeah. not just a, like an air attack. Yeah, it's yeah, something yeah. that will extract the yeah. air from the water. Okay. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go back to the thing and try and power stuff up. So, are you putting the breathing stuff on? Mm. Just to be... Uh, You've got it in your bags, haven't you? Yeah. Didn't you yeah. take them with you? Oh, yeah, well, you put it on whenever, then things go on the yeah, it's, it's, it's snaps off you. Yeah. If you were to do it in a combat scenario, take an action. That's fine. Oh, yeah. That's easy then. That's fine. Seconds after that. Yeah. It might take about six seconds. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so we're going to go... Seven, just to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if we go back to the bunk room... I might be able to do wire something up from there. Yeah, so if I stay at the end of that corridor, looking down towards that room, and you go to the bathroom, I can keep my eye on anything that's in the, that might come out, and hopefully pop a shot off of them. And I stay hidden around the corner. Okay. So I can scan. Give me a stop. <laughs> Why did you roll? 20. 25. <laughs> of course. Where did Kelpie go? I got a plus seven. Oh, I've seen her get that. I've gone. And I didn't get in that. Where did Kelpie go? 25. <laughs> she's left us up there. She's gone. <laughs> go she on. left me here. I like the wind she's got. And she yeah. stealthed through the gap here <laughs> in an airtight submarine. Uh, water time. Anyway, whatever. Same. You, uh, yeah, you pop the, you m- move some of the bunks and the mattresses I'm going around. I'm going to through the bags first and try and save the battery of the vehicle for later if I need it. So to see if I can find any of the batteries first from their belongings. Uh, from their stuff. Yeah, yeah, from their stuff. You find probably the only MP3 player stuff. Yeah, I would say you find uh, a couple of like audio devices that they would play yeah. music to themselves or anything. Um, you don't find anything big enough that you reckon you could charge with a with my pocket computer help. Submarine. Uh, I mean, I'm even surprised the beacon has enough power for that to be honest, because it was just a light. Well, it was that. It also was the end of that tubey thing. So uh, the the thing? light was responsible for you guys landing safely. I thought it was the circles. Uh, no, so the circles and the light connect. You come down, and that is what caused those little side uh, like hollow nets to grab you on the way down. Oh. And the bubble wrap and stuff. It's all part of the same mechanism, Bob. You'd know this, you're a hack. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Some of my notes worry me, but that's for later. <laughs> um, yeah. oh, I didn't write out Kelpie owes me money. I wrote, I said us. I'm like, who's us? No, I've written down that IRA money. No, it's more that it's plural. 
<laughs> you, you, were, you were Elizabeth as well. You were Elizabeth. Anyway, uh, you can deal with money later. Yeah, sorry. You've got you've got enough power in the beacon. You don't have enough power on the smaller gadgets in the room or in your bag. Do I have just enough to augment the power of that? Because I might want to do more than one thing eventually. Uh, give me. Well, we'll see. Give me a. All right. Give me a computing roll now, and this will tell you how many things you can do with it. That's a, I lost the 15. You can do two things with it. Cool. And then it'll require another roll once you hook up. Cool. Um, so potentially yeah. you could do two things with it. <laughs> Throw out 20 million more. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I can do maybe two things. I would say first priority is probably the door, otherwise we're stuck. Yeah, get that door open. And if I manage get enough for a second thing, maybe try and get the air out of the other room. Yeah, like, if you can't, I can shoot them in the head. Unless they're very stealthier than you, you never know. Potentially, if they're a ninja, like we're um, assuming. Uh, but what is a ninja? <laughs> but, um... That's an old... That, nah. it's ancient times. Ancient times. Um, scoundrels, now. Nah. <laughs> it has a whole new meaning now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so... Cool. Let's just go for it. Open the door first. Dig out some wires. Start. Cool. So you pull, pull a couple of panels, get your little tools out, and you essentially expose uh, the electronics and such behind. You don't take you too long. Give me, give me a computing check. You need a ten. Is it computing or engineering? Uh, engineering. You're gonna put. You're gonna attach this tool or what? You're gonna join them. Hack uh, engineering. I've said like nine skills. Just do an engineering roll. <laughs> you need a ten. Wait. No, that's the seven. That's enough. That's a thirteen total. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a watch. So yeah, cool, you're connected up. You've got enough charge to attempt two actions on this submarine. Uh, I'm gonna try and get that. Done. And they're not multiple actions, so it's not gonna turn the lights on while redirecting it to fire a torpedo. I mean, redirecting the power it sounds like one action. Well, it'll be a good roll, won't it? Let's get the door open first. Yeah, I'll try the door open. Uh, which door? The one. The one into the engine? Room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Give me a computer roll. Wait for. Boom. Uh, you can hear as you're because you're assuming you're guarding that. Yeah. You you uh, you heard g -g 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 from from that area. Did you not go and get out of the helmet with the night? You're incredibly Ooh. confident that you've done. No. Yeah. I thought everybody except Ken Carl. No, I don't want. Ah, uh, not bad. They need R2D2. I am R2D2. <laughs> they need R2D2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen how sassy I would tell people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna try the second one now. Oh, did you say you saw someone in that other room? Yeah. I'm gonna try and venture. So you know the door's unlocked rather than open? Yeah. Well, we, we could, if it's You need to manually twist it. Yeah, that's manual anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you, you know it's unlocked. Sweet. I'm pretty sure that's open now. We have a, we have a click on it, not a click, but like a Yeah, yeah. Between you doing what you're doing yeah. and knowing your skill set and you hearing it, mm -hmm. you know that it's pretty unlocked. Sure it's We're good. Uh, I'm gonna try and vent the air in the it's not the engine room, the room after that. Yeah. Really hope it's not a friendly. <laughs> Worst case, it should be just unconscious anyway, not yeah. like that. So yeah, I'm gonna try and vent the air. So you're gonna vent the air? Not yeah. just in that one room, not the main. So room. in the in the cockpit. Yes. Yep. Which. Like if we open the next door, it would equalize anyway. Yeah. So you're gonna in the last room empty the air yes. and hope they just put go unconscious and don't die from. I mean, they might not be a friendly anyway. Yeah, that's cool. How would them die? It was just when you went, oh, they'll just be unconscious. Like, That's not how running out of air works. <laughs> like, you go unconscious first, and if it keeps... Oh, yeah, can't, we can't undo it right away, so they will die. Yeah, <laughs> I was like... I forgot how much power. If they're dead, then they're not a threat. And if, if they is, weren't a threat... That is true. We don't we know what they so friendlies. they're dead. We weren't expecting any friendlies. Exactly, and also we can loot them. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, kids. I mean, that's why we're all going to the room. room. <laughs> that is why we're in this mess. We tried to leave the weapons room. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it here. Okay, computer roll. Uh, I think that's the exact same roll, actually. That's a 14. 14? You. Not the same roll, but. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. Yeah, oh. we couldn't really. There wouldn't be really the And you don't have anything. Okay. I think I did that. Kind of hard to tell. You, you're 50 50 in your mind. You're 50 50. You reckon whatever you were doing and that little spark, you are pretty close to maybe or maybe not. 
Okay, so. Um, it might have worked. Okay, no. Shall I stealth down the corridor and. Um, I mean, it might need my help to open the very heavy door. Yeah, but I can at least look through the window. Okay. Yeah. So. Do that. you want to borrow my night vision? <laughs> you want to borrow it? I have night vision. Do you want to borrow it? Uh, no, because night vision can't see through uh, metal doors. There's a glass. Yeah, but it's not that dark. It's not that dark. In the engine. There's lights. In the end room, it's not dark. You've still got the emergency oh, light. Yeah. 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 You you saw him naturally. Or, yeah. Well, it's definitely him. You saw the, the guy naturally, but then you switched to thermal. Wouldn't I have seen if there was another guy in there? You couldn't see another guy in there. You would have. Like, if he was in there, you'd yeah. have seen him. Because he was past that. He was in a different he's room in the, he's behind in the next, like, yeah. okay. all metal and all like red or whatever it is. Um, right, I'm going to stealth down and have a look through the window. Cool. Perception. Perception. 21. Just all your rolls begin with twit. That's <laughs> 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 just it. Um, you see nothing but this this body, corpse, on the floor. No longer bleeding out. And I can't see anything in the... You can't see anything in the glass on the other side. Um, I'm just going to hold and just keep an eye. Mm. Just in case someone does pass through. Cool. So cool. we're going to give it like a minute or so. We're just going to wait for a minute. Yeah, just to see if we see everyone passing. I can come by you and just check the room as well, just to be safe. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're not opening the door yet, though. That's fair. I'm gonna carefully walk back to the <laughs> doors where she is by the door and have a look thermally. Cool. Thermally. You see a couple of hollow, like screens appear in the bunk room, uh, above. In like, the bunk room. Yeah, in the bunk room. So I say they were laid down. They'd yeah. be on the. Okay. On the beds under them, and in Russian, uh, this is essentially what it translates to. You've got thirty minutes of air. Yep, 30 minutes before the temperature um, drops. Uh, no longer starts working. You know, the electronics that uh, allow the temperature to work. Rough guess, it's, it's about four degrees outside. You know what I mean? Um, and about one hour left of power on the emergency thing. We've only got 30 minutes of air, so. <laughs> this is the first one. <laughs> yeah. You're about would that have gone up if we went to the area of the one room? Well, actually, not, well, you don't know yeah. This come on after you've messed about, so you've no idea if it's increased or decreased. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, I've passed this on. <laughs> yeah, you get down to me. We can't be too careful. We have to kind of hurry up a little bit. We have a look through. Anything move past the window? Any thermal Nothing. signatures? Uh, not that you can see. Mm. No, I'm also coming. Are you the looking? Room. Not, not. You cannot see any thermal activity. Cool. We. Open the door, but um, as we open it, I'm just going to have my gun primed. I don't know if we can do both, because we need to hold the wheel with probably both hands. You can do that. I can hold my gun. With these twiggy arms? I'm I ain't got much better, mate. Yeah, but at least it's true. Although I like, <laughs> if you work on a sub, you best be buff. <laughs> like that, that's, no, no, no. The, that's, that's it. You cannot work on a sub unless you're buff. Maybe we can both try them together, but that's fine. I'll try it all first, I guess. Give me a strap check. That's an 11. Can you open the door? Okay. Find one. <laughs> was it a pen? Yeah. So yeah, you get on with it. And to be fair, it is quite quite a sturdy job, but you know, hacker fingers, mate. Hacker fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you go, That's my spinny wheelie noise. Do you want to wait for this side of the door <laughs> and I'll stealth through the other door to have a look? So. I feel like we can be too hot. Stealth wise, yeah. in this next room, it is a thin corridor that is you across, and then it's all engine like blocks and computering and. It's not a little kind of. Not that you could like fit in. Okay. So your stealth in here would be being able to somehow stay in the shadowy bits that the red do lights this. don't touch. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. crawl. It'd be you could you could make yourself. Can she hide under a box? Yeah, you can metal gear it. Just how, long is, how long is the corridor? 15 feet can't to I 20 just, feet. Can I just dash and like, just kind of hide by the door? You can walk, but yeah. I was just thinking of being quick and getting I mean, to the door. Yeah, and yeah you, so you can it. sprint over? Yeah. Or we can just walk in the engine room and try and start the engines. Well, you can do that, but I'm worried about the people the other side of this door that might try and kill us with a monoblade. You, you deal with the engine, I'll deal with creeps. Though I may die. Well, at least if she dies, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we're going to have to get there either way. Absolutely. Also, if Tim she died, they were probably dying as well. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm likely to die. I, if you think I'll be much better. 
Mm. I'm less than half my. I'm less than half my ideal condition. <laughs> ah, brilliant! <laughs> You're one it point. This is a right idea. So you run up to the door <laughs> and you try and hide against the door. Guns blazing, baby. Give me a stealth. You with passing. Stealth with disadvantage. Do you have healing? I did leave one for emergencies. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is the emergency. No, and this is what I said. I'm leaving one. I thought you were right. This, this, is how we die. this is how they die. Help, please. Help, please. <laughs> I was going to leave it until we want one of you getting unconscious because then I can bring you back, but that sounds like a bad idea. Good. Uh, cool. You get... That's it. You get at least three. You get eight total. Oh, nice. Thank you. Cool. And I'm out of heels. Ready for war. All right. I still. Cool. Right. Uh, did you want me to roll? With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. 32. <laughs> Two yeah. I'm waiting for it. So it was an unholy 20, and then it was 16. Okay, 16. What's your stealth? Plus 7. Yeah, I was going to say they are like uber. I'm stealth. Uh, da, 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 da. She's stealthed. You can see her. <laughs> uh, cool. I might have, what are you at? Can we go? I want to look through the window. Okay. Stealthy like. So give me a perception check. So you're currently stealth. How are we doing on time? 22. Cool. So as you look in, it's real dark with just a single red light just blinking. And it's a real slow blink. So it lights up the room, goes almost pitch black. Lights up the room, almost pitch black. And the reason it's almost pitch black is because you can see the cockpit screen. Because mm. this is not, this is, like I said, it's not a normal submarine where it's carrying like 200 crew. Mm. This is a very get in, get out sort of vessel. So it has a cockpit at the front where there is a viewing glass and they will drive it. Yep. Um, there are two seats. It's very compact. Um, one seat is empty. One seat has somebody sat there. Just sat there. Feet up on the, um, on the bit in front of them. <laughs> yep. There is a clearly a sword sheathed just laying against it. So it's about, so you see where I'm sat here? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's a second seat there. There's a sword there and they've got their feet up. They're fully enclosed. Uh, uh, fully enclosed. They're fully like clothed, so you can't see any features, uh, hair, skin, um, eyes, anything. They're completely thingy. Um, their outfit is red. Yeah. With two blue stripes down their right arm. Yep. Yeah. And then what does he got in your perception? Oh, 22. 22. And on the neck, there is a crown. A little golden crown. Oh. And they're just sat there. Feet, feet are like crossed over, just like bopping away. Mm. Almost like they're listening to music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the earth didn't work if they're bopping away. Mm. Their helmet is completely... <laughs> you can guess that they've got some sort of breathing apparatus. That's fair. I mean, if you didn't hear anything that happened... Wait, I'm surprised you didn't react when the power went off. You might have caused it. Or they might have caused I'm it. I'm pretty sure I caused this. <laughs> but it might have been a counter hack. Because they might have been doing something at the front. I suppose, but I doubt it. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, how do you want to do this then? We only have so much time to decide, though. So. Uh, um, because they got a helmet. Probably got some form of body armor. I mean, they definitely. Do you tell her you've only got thirty minutes of that? Yes, yes, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. So. When he kind of just does that and heals me as I go past. <laughs> cool. Just a high five. <laughs> We're dead in 30. Hi, <laughs> hi eight. <laughs> um, I think we're probably five minutes now. It's just being so careful and slow and steady. Do you want to go guns blazing or start the engines? You don't know if we can keep going yet. Do you want to... So check the door. Yeah, check the door. Is it locked? Uh, give me a investigation. <laughs> and hold so, <laughs> I don't know why I make you laugh. I haven't got any holies tonight so far. So, do you <laughs> test it or are you just testing it? So, soft or hard? Soft. Plum it in. <laughs> Sorry. Kelpie's gonna thumb in a softie. Is that a softie? Oh. Is that a softie? That's okay. Like, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, you start thumbing, <laughs> um, it appears locked. Okay, so relating it appears locked. Um, do you want to just try and kickstart the engine, see if that 
get that person going or go in kind of blazing. I'm sure they're passes bulletproof play way. <laughs> um, Don't listen to the chat, they're lunatics, right? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, the worst thing that happened is ricochet. <laughs> 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 I'll aim, I won't go proper guns blazing, I will aim at them and hopefully I'm blessed by my dice. When would you not aim? Um, what aim scenario cover. do you not aim the gun? Cover. When there's a horde uh, of people. Fire, yeah. But yeah. you're still aiming at summer. You're kind of just shooting so they all... Yeah. yeah, when you're scar facing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old movie from when ninjas were about. <laughs> <laughs> they were turtles. Alright, fair. I just always don't know this, this is, is an it? old synth. <laughs> I am, I'm 25. Yeah, Wait, what synth died like? The you? oldest one's 50, so I'm oh, quite old for a synth. I thought it was better than that, actually. Yeah. Um, the anyway. oldest known one's 50. Um, so, A or B? How guns blade, um, engine, engine or guns blade? He's got a massive advantage in that he doesn't need air by the looks of it. True, true. And also, guns will probably, because spark and stuff, consume the air quicker. You need a spark for most guns to shoot bullets. And yeah, they, like um, the conversion will require some oxygen, but not that much. Depends how much firepower. Actually, yeah, the engines first. I'm going to see if I can do anything with the computer panels. Give me an intelligence check. Uh, if you can do the engine, I'm, I come back from the door a bit and just prime. Oh, I missed out. Well, that makes it so much better. Uh, that's an 18. I thought cool. it was an 8. You are very confident that. If you were to try and get the engines back online, it'd be very difficult. You're very aware of that, if possible. That's the worst thing that At least try it. I'll, I'll keep uh, trying to... What's the worst that can happen? This is the so, so, so uh, Look down to your right, under that table. What's yes. that? And you've just said, what's the worst that can happen? That is a sign, right there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr Pepper. Oh. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> nah, I don't actually, I obviously don't get it. Uh, it's fine. Anyway, I get I it. I'll try. That's, that's all that matters. As long as the audience I get it. I am primed with my assault rifle. I get it. There you I'll go. I'll get it. I'm showing it's from the 90s, though. I'm showing well, the age then. Well, so, so, so I'm showing you don't watch TV. 24? Jesus Christ. You said that, eh? Go on. Young people don't watch adverts. Young people. Was it an F1? It wasn't an F1. But it's still no. <laughs> what did you get? Um, overall, was I hacking or computing? Uh, you were engineering. Rolling. That was overall an 8. Cool. Not an F1, thank you. Very close to that. So, if you look around while you're doing it, uh, you see, the, you see uh, power come back to the engines and there's a bit of a surge. Uh, the lights go bright, they flicker, they drop off. You've got 20 minutes of air. I didn't know anything. Can I try again? And you hear a very loud <laughs> like the sub has expelled something. Like a lot of air <laughs> into the water. It will be about five minutes worth of air. Oh, give a tick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go check the timer? Because we heard a, that sound sounded weird. Um, well, I don't want to go away from this door because this person might come out and sneak up on us. Oh. Just, try the, just try it again. Whilst you're talking to him, yeah. uh, you look. So you've got like, I'm talking like to him while I'm still looking. So the glass is here. Yeah. And you see you see this face <laughs> where it essentially you know Spider Man is, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. Uh, you see this uh, red face and you see these two like silver, like goggled eyes, just like looking at the glass. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> nods. And then you have a cheeky look at the glass, sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> get worried. I'll stay here. <laughs> I can try the end but it costs more air. Just go for it again. Just screw it. You realise that as attempting things, they get harder. Yes. No, cool. <laughs> so what are you trying to do? You're still trying to turn the engine back on? I can open the door instead. I so you knew, you knew that it was very difficult to do. Yeah. You tried it anyway. Yeah. You were also were aware that things get harder the more you try it. Because I messed it up. It's Let's not try it once more. With I'm feeling. pretty sure. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Even as, if I if I do as well as I randomly or manage to open a door that I wasn't supposed to open, I still am making that my work. Well, we're running out of choices. I'm basically saying you're gonna throw that twenty on me and go. Just so you know, your beacon is dead, power wise. That's the right power. Because you used it on the two options. So. Oh, that's fair. 
How are we going to go through that door? Exactly, so this is really our only option. Unless we bang on the door and ask the assassin to let us in. I mean, there's some PowerPoint throw. It's such an assumption. <laughs> Wait, those emergency lights. Uh, yeah. Are they like... They're not wired in. They sort of exist in the nano world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so while you two are thinking, mm-hmm. we'll, right, ju- we'll jump back to um, long walks on a beach and Gib. <laughs> Gib? Yep. Are you just like short resting? It depends how much of a rest I get before it all goes wrong. Well, let's say you can get a short rest by the time you've waited for them to float out to sea, copper to come and get you, and then you get and then the car drive back because you've not done anything other than get in the car. So you yeah, can use your right. hit, you can use your hit dice during the short rest, mate. Your hit dice as an investigator is a D eight. And level two, I get two of them. There you go. How much effort will it be for you coming over there so we can discuss our situation with the Venus? Uh, Effort for me. Well, you have to move the signs around the gate on the other side of you. Well, yeah, in theory, I'd have to muck about. Moving games, easy. We could do it after the break. We can, yeah, we'll be having a break in about oh, five right. minutes, and you guys can have a little chip mark. That's fine. Which one of these dice is it? Yeah. It's the, the one, one with the eight numbers the on there. Diamond. 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 Thank you. So you give yourself your hit points back. You just ch- you just do your short rest then, yeah? Cool. I'll just look up the rules for short rest. I'm also just kind of, while I'm chilling out, making notes to see what I can piece together from the case. Yeah, with me notepad. From what you, what, from everything that's happened so far? Yeah. Give me an investigation check. Is this game literally going through some little book of notes that you've been taking? Yep. Okay. Eighteen. 18. Cool. We'll come back to you. Cool. Uh, as you as you're walking with yeah. Sapphire, um, she stops every now and then, sort of takes a, a deep breath, keeps walking, um, and oh. then she just turns and faces you. Uh, she looks at you for a very very brief second. Mm-hmm. Give me a mind save. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's, oh. that's not my best save. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a seven. Oh, cool. You, you just feel a very warm. Uh, it's just warm, like you. Um, when you go from uh, inside, uh, outside to in, and yeah. the heating's on type thing. Yeah, like yeah. You just hit the warmth. It's you. Okay. It's not aggressively warm or anything like this. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. feel. Warm, and then it goes instant. Okay. And uh, Sapphire just says to you, "Why do they call you Copper, Santino?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, two reasons. It's I used to be a policeman, but also uh, all of the dogs in our company uh, are named after a certain dog. Mine's Copernicus from an old movie. A very old movie. It is a very old movie. Why? Why? Why are you? Why are you a dog? Oh, because I was why, done. Why are you not a policeman anymore, or police officer? It was a long time ago, and I got taken. Taken by the Tongs of San Francisco. And that's where I've, uh, that's where I've been for the last 10 years. Finally got my freedom, but then I need to earn a living. The dogs took me in. Why did you lie about me dying? Because I'm not sure I view it as dying if you're here again. If you're dead, then you usually stay dead. But you came back, so... Surely you must have just been unconscious or healing or something. I'm no robotics expert, but... It, it, it is a... Um, <clears throat> it is an augmentation. So has... If you're saying that you died, did what effect has that had on you? Like, have you still got all your memory? Have you still got all your... Do you, what? Persuasion check. Okay. 
21. I have all my memories. Well, that's good then, isn't it? Some of them, not all of them. Okay. We yeah, we still need all our bad memories. They make us who we are. My we all have memories that we want to forget, but it's still part of us. My bad memories hurt. Okay. Do they give you some physical pain? Is that a sin thing? Not physical. Just, just pain. I think we all do. Like that first time that I was captured, taken away from my family. The first time I was thrown, thrown into the ring and had to fight and was beaten down and beaten down again. We all have painful memories, but it makes us who we are. The only people that I know that haven't had painful memories are just spoiled brats. And you don't want to be one of those. Did you ever lose? Oh yeah. But you picked yourself back up and you carry on. Would you prefer I called you Copper in front of your friends? Yes, please. It's, I don't know, call it social convention. Okay. Thank you. And then she just keeps walking. Submarine folks. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna have a quick break. What we'll do is we'll break now. At 12 minutes past. <laughs> So we'll do, we'll do about 10, 15 minutes. We'll just go toilet breaks, get a drink, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. You two can have a plan on what you're doing and we'll come back to you. If you are watching, please keep watching and come back in 10, 15 minutes. We are enjoying your advice, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we'll be back in a sec, guys. Thank you.
We're back. Oh. I believe. Thinking what that what? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if you're still with us, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've just joined us, Carbon 2185, a Cyberpunk RPG, you can see it, it's great, it's fantastic, we love it. This lot are called the Big Dogs, and you can see their character names and their levels, etc. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat, and Wayne will answer them all. <laughs> so, submarine folks, yes. what is your plan? I'm going to try and help him restart the engine. How? Are you hooking up? No, that's the last resort. She's oh, just okay. going to try and help me wire things together. Right, if you want to help me up, what am I getting out of this? <laughs> well, we might not die. I might still die. So can I. But I might but die while you're doing this. I mean, if you die, I die, because there's not going to be anything else after that. Man. But if it works, what do I get out of Do you want to try and do it without hooking you up first? Yes, I do. Right, I help him tinker. Cool. So you're going to try and restart the engines again yeah. <laughs> with help from yeah. Kelpie. Roll with advantage. It is Sky High. Ooh. Have You've already, already declared. <laughs> <laughs> the higher one is a. That wasn't a higher one. 23. Cool. So the engines go a bit longer than last time, big surge of energy, then depletes again and you hear a push. And you're down so to close. eight minutes of air. So close. Cool, I'm gonna bang on the thing and shout in Russian, we have that fire. Yeah, it's crowded. When you go push the sub rocks like it's hit something. And they're British, not Russian. I mean France still British. Yeah. They're Crown Estate of British, yeah. yeah. Um, the... Person. Person. I would say geezer then. Uh, the person in the uh, cockpit stands up. You can see them now, like, they're doing something in there, like going past the glass, but they're back to you. Um, they're trying switches and buttons. There's nothing. Um, <laughs> do you look through the glass? I'm just keep my eye out there. Cool. Picks up the sword. Ah. Straps it to the back. Uh, pull something from in front of them. You don't know where bag themselves. Pull something in front of them. Turns it like, like a pen. Mm -hmm. And it goes real bright on the end. Yeah. Climbs up onto the controls real close. I say climbs, he's not stood up. But um, climbs up, starts cutting the glass. So shall we ask that friend? Uh, sense motive. And hold it. I'm just going to dress as a vicar next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, yeah, you can tell by the way they're like a bit flustered that they're exactly that. They're flustered. This person is trying to cut through the glass. Didn't expect that, did he? Shall we put on the little suits? Then, then we can put that in seconds, but the water might not actually get to us. We might just suffocate. I'm still going to put on the suit. <laughs> okay. Because then if the air does go off, we can just open the thing. It's locked. Oh, yeah, sure. Alright. That was kind of the problem. <laughs> You've got 10 seconds before said person's cut through the glass. We got sapphire. Yeah, we got sapphire. We got sapphire. <laughs> See if that stops it. See if he reacts. Yeah. <laughs> like Assuming that's the first you can't see. <laughs> it's like the Spider-Man eyes, they just, they're just kind of scripting. <laughs> Alright, I didn't do anything. They're clearly cutting a hole big enough for them to get out of. As you're looking, give me a perception check. Twelve. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! But it's still you still see nothing! <laughs> still started with a twer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still a twer. Still a twer. We still wasn't Wait, we were both shouting at him, doesn't it? We're, we're, so we're both in the mirror now, in the glass now? The so don't I get to try and see. Oh, sorry, I was reading the page. So yeah, you, you, you just noticed that they're cutting the glass. Sure. They're about two thirds of the way done. Uh, I guess they're cutting it big enough for themselves. I, uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can show at this point. You, do you look for the glass? Yeah, I'm shouting doing. at him as well. So we've All got right, it. yeah, get me in the perception check. That's, that's a 19. Cool. So as it's glass out into the 
the yeah. wide ocean. You see a not quite a silhouette because it's not as sharp as a well, there's a black outline. There's a um, there is definitely something of size uh, closing in. It is enormous, like whale size. <laughs> so Moby Dick. <laughs> right. Pull it in. Um, can I find my life capture any of this material by any chance? You give it a go. Do you want to try me? So what? Do you want to try picking me up? <laughs> to the engine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. If we're going out, I don't know what happened. No. Not the engine, but unlock the door so we can at least get out. Yeah. Or just the override airlock. So we can go up. Yeah. Just to put it in the context, trying you mm-hmm. is like taking his my vein out, mm-hmm. putting it in his arm so he gets my blood danger levels. Then no. I mean, if we're that anyway. Like you are the like peak of almost human, but not quite technology. <laughs> so tampering with your bits and bobs is life threatening, as it would be with a human. I would, would I go down to death saving throws? Or that is a ridiculous IC question. But <laughs> 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 would you rip up my character sheet? Yeah. It would be dangerous. Be dangerous. Uh, do we have an option? Think of something else then. I'm going to try and stab him. Oh, he's he's loving this, he's fine. <laughs> I'm going to die too, she dies. You know that it. weird orby thing that yep. we got? Yep. Try it on something, see what happens. I'm going to chuck it at the door. You go. Alright, shall we step back and chuck it at the yeah, door? Let's yeah, let's go. At the glass, maybe. At the glass. Yeah. Give, me, give me a. Are you throwing it with strength or are you just accuracy? Are you dex or strength? In? Dex! Cool. So Definitely Dex. Holy oh, my ass. <laughs> what did you get? You missed. Yep. No. What did you get? Holy. It's <laughs> my first holy of the night. Twenty-three. Does, does anyone want to play like chess or something like that? <laughs> I'm good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> you realise the whole time we've spent, I've got one natural holy twenty. So one. <laughs> Cool, because she's got no natural ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one last time. I did get one. Yeah, you did. I did get did. one. Um, yeah, you hit it. Uh, it's kind of heavy. When it hits it, there's no bounce. It just goes... <laughs> <laughs> I tried something. <laughs> I mean, that was weird. One thing. Now give me a mind save. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just her or me? Because I'm going to have to just... She's a synth, you're not. Oh, fair point. 17. 17. <laughs> Okay. You uh, you feel very sleepy, uh, more so than when you normally shut down for your four hours. You feel it like you feel right on the brink of shit. I need my four hours, yeah. and you take a level of exhaustion. Okay. Uh, you haven't got a clue. You don't know what. Mm-hmm. You just see her go dink dong. Oh, there's no way to Dink dong. It's the best sound effects in the yeah. world. We haven't got a place to put it. Okay. Uh, just, just make a note. Yeah. Well, when Me I mind, I just put it on the hit points. Oh. So you have disadvantage on ability checks. Mm. Not attacks, just ability checks. Do you tell me this, that you're not feeling well, Carlson? I'm a bit sleepy. That was this one. I'm not sure you should carry that. Well, I mean, it happened when you threw it. I'm going to assume there's something to do with that. So maybe you shouldn't carry that thing. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to chuck it at that guy and see what happens. No. I'm still going to keep it. You can keep it away in your bag, but don't throw it in anything. I'm going to keep it. We'll figure that part out later. <laughs> uh, do I have any idea what makes her exhausted like that? You've no I'm idea. I'm not very good at throwing things. That's probably why. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to get a bit of I'm going to try and stab the glass with my five roll knife. See what happens. Cool. Give me, just give me an attack roll. Well, my first one night. <laughs> Not to me. Jesus. <laughs> so you you hit it true, like you're know, well impressed. You know, we little spaghetti arms. <laughs> you run the uh, vibro knife into it. There is a few mil incision that goes into the glass, and then it, it bounces off. So it's all in, like in a smooth motion. It doesn't quite crash through, and 
is out. Water it's starts pouring in quite quickly. You can see that when the water starts gushing in, in the case of him just going, um, or them just going, um, oh look, a the hole. They're waiting for the water to fill. They probably have a swimming thing, that, like a little propeller somewhere on their arm. Possibly, but they don't really need to, because um, we're not that deep down, to be honest. How do you know? It would be helpful. What? How do you know? Also, we don't know how far deep we are now. Um, well, we can kind of... Can, is the um, the window... Can we see through the front window now? Yep. Yeah, so can we have a look? Can we kind of work it out? You can't see the surface. And he's seen a very, very, very large... Yeah, that's not thing. really good. So probably about 50, 60 feet down. So you're deep. Can humans survive that pressure? Um, yeah, yeah, not yeah. for long, but it's quite easy. You're uh, the sub's are, doing the the. I'm just pressing up actually. Yeah. Like once you're outside, a humans um, they ascend quite slowly, and as long as they're exhaling, they can make it. Oh, as you make a noise things. when you're going up, you're fine. Yeah. No, basically, as long as you are exhaling, even if you go ah, um, so your um, alveoli don't rupture and you don't get the bends, then you'll be all right. I used to be a scuba right. diver. Um, well, we <laughs> so still need a hole through the window to let the water through because we kind of vented that. Well, he's already got the hole in the window. Yes, but there isn't one coming, won't bring the water to us, so we're going to suffocate. We're not going to suffocate yet because we've got maybe like five, five minutes, minutes left. left. About five. Um, but we need to try and open the door so we can start that kind of decompression so we can get out that hole. Do they have a little incision leak in the glass and all? No. You're an intelligent shot. No. Considerably. Does he give you one or you don't need one? No, I think you, you'd be. Imagine yeah. hitting like the floor with, with with a knife and it'd probably chip that top bit but it wouldn't sink eight inch into the ground, would oh, it? Oh, I've got an idea. I go up to the glass, sorry, um, with my rifle. Oh boy. And then I hold it up to the window, bang on the window to get that person's attention, person attention. They've gone, okay. Right, go in. They're going. Oh, I thought going. they were waiting for the water to come out because if they, oh, they are, they are. So while you're doing this, because yeah. don't forget, it's not pause. You do your bit. Yeah. Pause. So while that water's filling, you guys are talking. They're mm -hmm. up. It's only a small cockpit. Do it. Try and do it. Nice okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to put the, my gun on it so they can see the crown the logo. Okay. Give me, give me a persuasion check with disadvantage because they're on the way out. <laughs> yes. No, I got a twenty. Um, <laughs> And it's persuasion, yeah. So I've got 19. What was your lowest roll? Uh, first roll is holy. <laughs> Second roll is 18. What the fudge is that? <laughs> what? It's complicated this dice. <laughs> Next week you play with my dice. <laughs> um, yeah, so you see them look over their shoulder. And they sort of, they're, they're like out now. Like it's full. The complete cockpit is full. And they're sort of outside the submarine glass and like like holding it you know what i mean they're sort of resting on it mm -hmm. rather than going anywhere um that he's looking back at you back at the massive shape behind him shakes his head and fucks off up okay. we thought that earlier we might have been all right i thought the like saying we had sapphire would be enough maybe we should say we with sapphire mm -hmm. instead of we have sapphire sapphire <laughs> Mm. Um, I mean, there's every chance that big ship is going to try and capture us, potentially. So we don't know if it's a ship. We I thought you said it's a big ship. So it's a ship. It's a ship. That's what I just said. I thought you said ship. Oh, shape. Ship. Yeah, he said shape. But with an accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> this is the first time I had a problem. Um, uh, the I don't know. Just gonna try the door again, just in case when they came up to the door they unlocked. Oh, when something smacked against the submarine. Give me a strength check. Can I help? You can. Advantage. No. I don't think you need it. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> but, like, you can't. It's just. Have a look. I think it's the tray. It's got. To, it's got to be something like. No, no, you put dice in like salt water to test if they're fixed or something. It's got to be like you. We are off. To Vegas. <laughs> Go on then. Um, is it always like this? Or, yeah, there, there's something wrong with those dice. No, it's with any dice. You need to stop playing Laura. I'm just good at rolling. What unholy pact have you made? With, what, it's the old like, who is, who is it? Is it Cthulhu? Yeah, it's Cthulhu. Okay, warlock. that's what the shape in the water is. It's Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get his child. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, you're done. Kafogo's here. Just us. Right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to the other place. Thank you. It is definitely the other place. Um, uh, so yeah, we, guys, we have we have wee breeders. So you manage to you almost. I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> yeah, we, we put the rebreathing. Yeah, we got like rebreathing things that go on for like. They just go straight on us. You start pulling the uh, the door. Mm-hmm. Um, it is locked. Yeah. But you are for for a moment you like I am got there. No. It's that or something, really, Wayne. It's fine. The door is still locked. The door is still locked. The ship. Yeah. You can see now looks. Like a whale, <laughs> from where you are. We're so ridiculous. <laughs> but if give it me, eats us, both of you give me a. Are we on the water? Hmm. Give me a dexterity check. Check? Oh, no, just a check. Just a, just uh, no, de- a dexterity check. 13. You're exhausted, you're at a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, 15. 12. Uh, so you're. Yeah, that should be disadvantage as well. What do you get? 15. 12. Cool. Um, you wobble a tiny bit, well not much, like you feel the ship. And the ship goes from that nice float to like rigid. And starts doing this towards the whale. Tractor beam. That's no whale. <laughs> a fake whale. <laughs> it's no whale, Jim. Okay. <laughs> Are we just kind of going to go with it? Unless you got about four do. minutes there. <laughs> Should we put the rebreather suits on just in case? There's not much else we can do at this point. Yeah. Dude, is the water not making it through the... Well, being I know you. we vented the air, but is the water not making it through the ventilation with all the damage that's happened? <laughs> not yet. Okay. And not into the room you're in. Okay. Subs have a shell. And then stuff. But they already made it through the shop with glass. It's okay. a submarine. That's fair. <laughs> If you want to um, die yeah. faster, I don't mind. Like, if you want <laughs> <laughs> well, we can we'll probably survive longer in water than the lack of air. Mm-hmm. Especially if we got the rebreathers. And just, they're not just rebreathers, like it's a whole suit, so I'm guessing there's some pressure protection if it's a bagging suit. How thick was the So, that there's a difference thing? between pressure protection and force damage. <laughs> can be dead on force damage. Yeah. Uh, so, you literally go. <laughs> yeah, you might be able to breathe, <laughs> but it's going to hurt. How thick is the glass? About three inch. But that's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's about, it's about three inch. inch. That's <laughs> no, that's, that's a different kind of inch. Yeah. That's three inches. That's a cracker. <laughs> what? Why do you use your thumb? Because <laughs> your thumb, yeah. the tip of your thumb is an inch. No, I'm right. pretty sure it's different for everyone. Well, mine is an inch. All right, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now we've discussed inches <laughs> and thumbs. It's three inch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I was just thinking if we both try and hit it with our vibro knives. I'm, I'm, I mean, I did a tiny crack. And yeah. It might take a lot of net 20. You are very intelligent people. The vibro knife will not get you through the glass. Okay. Okay. I was thinking if it was just like a, a chip. I mean, you could get through it if you had an hour mm. to just be like, bam, 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 bam. Wow, wow. And a crowbar's not going to open the door. Probably not. No. Not, not the sub. Try shooting at the glass, but probably not, because Ricochet is there. I'm not chucking uh, the mold off. Well, yeah, we were in the water. <laughs> I wouldn't think you would. We're not in water. We're in a submarine next to an engine. <laughs> I feel like she's just waiting to <laughs> out. All right. We just zen out and just chill. <laughs> just and just with those diving suits on. Cool. <laughs> it was like... Slightly back from the door, just in case the back the door glass opened. Maybe it's the side a little bit. You just sat there doing like Darth Vader with brushes. Like <laughs> we're kind of just meditating for a minute. Mm. Just wait for the whale's mouth to open and just like... Hey, I'm ho- wait I'm for us to turn into a couch. You see a, li- you see a little wooden boy in your pet ever seen <laughs> <laughs> With a machine gun. <laughs> yes, but it was all Yeah, so like when they get taken up by the Heart of Gold, they uh, turn into couches. Oh, the improbability engine? The improbability engine drive, yeah. Anyway. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the ball. <laughs> so you two are going... Mm. Back to the uh, long walks on the beach. <laughs> okay. And uh, right, Gib. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing anything? Right, you went through your notes and you rolled an 18, yeah? Yep. What were you trying to ascertain? Other than just going through your notes, which I get, but. Just. 
going through my notes and see if you can put together any links or anything we found. Okay, so doing your little, you know, Rain Man sketch, you essentially go. You were hired by the big dogs mm -hmm. to go some more to retrieve a synth. Yeah, you get yep. there. The synth is about to be in the hands of Russians. Yeah, they all are Russian. Yep. So it's not like there was a Russian in a private group or anything like this. It's very clear that somebody from Russia wants Sapphire. You then leave with several Russians have tried to infiltrate, take, hunt down. You've either killed or avoided during long nights in the uh, office. Uh, avoided. You then left, obviously. In this town, you have discovered that, one, there is a Crown Estate um, yacht in the harbour that Elizabeth controls. Yeah? You yeah. now know that Sapphire was created by the Crown Estate. You have discovered a what is very likely the Russian sub that was used to bring folks ashore so they can go do sneaky stuff in the building. You probably put it together that the fishing boat is just a cover. <laughs> yeah, it's got nothing to do <laughs> with the Dutch, all right? It's just there as a cover because you're an intelligent investigator and have worked this out from looking through your notes okay so the russians are trying <laughs> yeah well you could keep prodding if you want but I just you know you've got better things to do with your time <laughs> um so yeah so you've worked out that they're using that boat as a cover because obviously if people look into it they're going to have the same assumptions you have and keep the uh, prying eye away from the russians the russians are clearly after sapphire crown estate yacht elizabeth sapphire the distribution center, all Crown Estate. The big dogs want something from the Crown Estate, i.e. Sapphire. That's what you, that's, you put it all together, you do join your dots, minority report, put it all over the place. Yeah? Yeah, thank you. How much health did you get back on your, um, short rack? Enough. Okay, cool. <laughs> but you still need the long rest to get over the exhaustion, right? We don't have any long rest, we managed to get back together. Uh, yeah, he'll need a long rest to get rid of his exhaustion. Okay. So Sapphire says to you, yep. as, as you're just walking along, yep. and you see like the fauna around here and the flowers yeah. and stuff, they're, yeah. they're alright, they're not like, um, it's not incredibly beautiful or anything, but there is a couple of real... Uh, dimmed blue, like the colour's almost been drained blue, it's not like a vibrant blue, a uh, couple of flowers. And she just says to you, um, Copper, can you pass me some of those? And you do instantly. Okay, I don't get a choice or an option. You just do, you just like, oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Um, you want to. Okay. Yep. Um, Sapphire, did you name yourself because you like the colour blue, or do you think that's something that's programmed into you? Crack out a dice roll! <laughs> deep question, though. Copper? Yep. Don't mention the big dogs. Oh, yeah. that's already you mentioned that. I don't know, I don't even I have to. Have to. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'll, can I flip out my. Flip out? Can I somehow <laughs> switch on, like, just um, so, uh, transmit on my. Oh, so he can hear what so you can hear the conversation, talking. and I can hear anything that Gabe hits to me, but it doesn't get said out loud. Have you got a reason to? Sorry? Have you got a reason to? Um, um, just to include him, rather yeah, than having yeah, to say that I'm repeating him. Yeah, yeah. What was the uh, out character? So you, you hit, yeah, 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 you yeah. totally can. So he says to you, don't mention the big dogs on look one to one. Yeah. And then you flick to transmit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, do you like the colour blue? Yeah, so the name was given to me. Yeah, you love that colour. White choice? Or... I think that's part of your programming. I like blue. Oh, fair enough, so do I. Yeah, um, a while ago you gave me a warm, fuzzy feeling. 
And uh, I mean, all I have, I have a all joking aside, <laughs> what did you do to be sat by? Um, I was reading you. Are you trying to control me? Or just read me? Just read. Insight check with disadvantage. Ooh. Can I have an add on this right You can, right? Um, <laughs> I, got, I got the same dice, the same number. Um, Is it a good number? Insight, so. <laughs> sense motive, yeah? Uh, sense motive, sorry, yeah, yeah. every time. Uh, 11. Cool. Yeah, she seems legit. Um, I think my friend Gabe should be getting better. I'll, I'll be okay to start heading back. I'm worried about my friends who we haven't heard from. And we might have to go and help them out whatever situation they're in. We can go back. Takes you about five minutes. Like you've all, she's not what far. Oh, All right. Okay. So it's not like you've gone like into the inland type of thing. You're about, I say about five minutes walk, like this, like straight line walk. Yeah. So it don't take you long to get back. You yeah. could probably see the jeep in the distance. You were that far. So it don't take you too long. You're back at the uh, you're back at the jeep. Um, Gib, you see Copper and Sapphire walking towards them. Are you still sat you? <laughs> and Dave disappears. Get back in front of the camera, lad. <laughs> there we go. Look at that beautiful face. Hey, Gabe, are you feeling better now? Uh, rough. Okay. Um, so, I'm a bit concerned you about... You can read people. Wow. Yes. Can you not? <laughs> yeah. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at Copper and then looks back at you. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was very slow. Let's okay. be frank, consider it, uh, you've done something, you've repaired yourself and given yourself uh, clothing and flesh um, in a matter of minutes. You've been able to uh, bring yourself back from death, as you said, and you've read my mind and I don't know what you've got all the information you've got from that. You can do more than any synth I've ever met. Oh, I, yeah. don't, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> no, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I can't believe it. So what I'm asking is we haven't had any contact with our, uh, our fellows, our friends. Can you help us get in contact with them and potentially save them if they're in some danger? Under the sea. <laughs> Where it's uh, wetter and it's uh, better. Take it from me. Anyway. Hey, hey. <laughs> what? I had a Disney party over the weekend. Don't get me started with those lyrics. I'll go for the full song. Jesus. <laughs> Copper dies. And then <laughs> I just lay on jumps in. Hey. Um, yeah, okay. yeah, no. I can try and help. What, what would you, what would you help me do? Um, well, as far as I know, they were uh, the boat that we went to. They were on a submarine somewhere below that. We've not heard from them. We've lost communication range. Even if it's something, even if you have a, an advanced way to actually uh, get in touch with their communications, we can drive out there. Or if you have some way of tracking them, that we might not. So... Men or so, no. I can swim. <laughs> I mean, you can have it on, but it's easy to swim. Well, maybe. Gabe, you were going to say something? Yeah. The Russians, they weren't being the too Russians. kind when we found you. What was the orb? What? The orb? The bully thing that I chucked at a door. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the same room as her and her lips. Yeah. You know, round thing. Metal. Floating. Give me a persuasion check. I'll get the floaty. Get the floaty. Fifteen. Cool. It's, um, it's just very important. What's the word? Freight. 
Like I say, the Crown Estate used to use the distribution centre for black market goods. Bollocks. It wasn't a bollock. <laughs> it was a robot bollock. Is that why you put your display? And that's why it's set up thing. like your very own SIM <laughs> waterboarding session. You know, I was asking about, <laughs> asking about the box that's, that sucked your mind through your hand. Oh, yeah, that goop. Hmm. The tentacle. Because you did not know where that was going. <laughs> Anybody saying anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for Gabe to... Yeah, yeah. Gabe? The, the Gabe yeah. film noir well, interrogation well, scene. So you we're keep, waiting you for keep, your... You sort of ask questions and then just stop looking at me. And I don't know <laughs> if, you're done, if you're done or... If there's a glitch in the stream. It's yeah. <laughs> part of my interrogation technique. It's, it's putting me and Sapphire off. <laughs> <laughs> Working then. <laughs> So are you are you bad cop? Is that how we're playing? He is definitely a bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, since Copernicus is being all nicey nice, uh, he's the intimidating wolf. He's got more out of her than you have, though. <laughs> True. He's, he's not always intimidating. Oh, was that right the conversation we were having? <laughs> I mean, right now I'm exactly like a thunderbolt. So well, really again, Dave, I need to, like, you need to give us some signals, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to stream What's an that? RPG here, lad. But, uh, game. Oh, we streaming. Uh, unless you want to ask more questions. Oh, actually, you can ask more questions both on the way. But let's actually try and go and find Vulcan Kelpie. Like, on the way there. To, to. Unless we go and get the other submarine and go looking for them. What other submarine? The one that's three miles deep. And not on. And just take the job that Elizabeth gave you. I mean, I've got it, Atlas, so feel free. <laughs> Can you do that in about five minutes? Uh, so, my plan right now is go and get the diving equipment to do the GPS on the other submarine, use it to go and get our hacker back, and then go do the submarine. So, why not just get the diving equipment and get the hacker back? So, go get the diving equipment. To the submarine, yeah, to go you to the submarine to get the submarine. I'll tell you. I, I, I really okay. like the fact so that you what, went to go get my hacker back. Just <laughs> like, to the scoundrel. So, so this diving equipment oh, that back. was offered by Elizabeth. Okay, so... It's been sat there. <laughs> where is it? Does he know where it is? Can, can you tell him? You two don't have contact. Since we're talking of just mentioning everything. Before you went and did the submarine thing, you were all very aware that Elizabeth would be waiting with her submarine with her diving gear for you. But Elizabeth doesn't know what they look like. And there's no submarine. Elizabeth does not know what you two look like, that is correct. <laughs> she only met us. So. so submarine people. Yes. Quiet time. Mr. Gabe and Mr. Copper, what are you doing? Let's go get the diving gear from Elizabeth. Also, Sapphire, do you know Elizabeth? No, since know each other. He's as subtle as a brick. <laughs> yep. Brick to the face, maybe. Look, I've not shot it yet, we're doing well. You're not giving her guns either. I know A, Elizabeth. Not yeah, A and one. B, Elizabeth. Two of them. Not a plural, Elizabeth. Yeah. Three of them. Oh. Yeah, that one. Well, we think. Then, then yes, I do. Oh. Yeah. Can we oh, they're both crowns there. Which way is it? Mm. What? Britain. Britain. <laughs> 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 Don't take her to them, they're crowns. Elizabeth is in Britain. Like, really fit, last what? blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dead on both places. Um, one of them's loud. Did he see her? No. We described it, we probably described that. Well, so how about this? Told her she were Gabe, thinking. you're going to talk thinking. to people. How about if you go <laughs> and talk to people there. are not <laughs> here. Okay. You let Copper you're sink this ship. <laughs> you're to how about you go to the Elizabeths and go and pick up the diving gear um, and we'll meet you, uh, like, let's say, on the beach um, nearby where we should be setting off. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. People, keep, people keep assuming I'm good with people and I don't know what that is. Or would you like to accompany Sapphire down to the beach and I will go and talk to the Elizabeths? 
No, it's fine. You two get on fine. I'm going to talk okay. to the Okay, cool. Sapphire, so, would you like to have a look at all the lovely blue sky and blue sea <laughs> down by the beach with me? Yes. Okay, let's go. So you drive down or walk down? Let's drive down. Cool. So you'll drive down. I'll hop out. You'll get out near the dock area. Yeah. So the yacht, yeah. um, you can see only one person there, uh, as described to you by Kelpie and Volk Interpreter, as you so <laughs> wish. Um, and they're stood there and they have a uh, quite a large like mag crate in front of them. And they're just stood there, all alone, not smiling whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good what hour <laughs> <laughs> that they've been waiting. So they stood there, you have, they look like the person that was described here. And then obviously Copper and Sapphire drive off down the beach. Hey, you must be Elizabeth. I'm with the band. You're with the band? That would be a better thing. Yeah. So she looks at you. What band? You know, one with a gig underwater. You serious? <laughs> Where are the other two? Prepping. We've been a slight delay. I'm here to pick up the slab. We do not like delays. <laughs> Neither do we. Then why delay? Oh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. We just thought we'd hang around and waste everybody's time. <laughs> it was not. Now give me a persuasion check. <laughs> With disadvantage and a fucking high DC. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure what we're doing now, aren't I, Natalie? He's gonna die before us. <laughs> this is all happening simultaneously. 17? <laughs> Send the other two. I do not wish to speak to you. And neither is passage. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> is this as good as when you negotiated for the phone? <laughs> yes. No, this is better because we're really? dying. <laughs> you sure? Because you seem like you have work to do and I've got people to do it, or we can dick about here on the docks all night. I'm not sure you're making it better. Oh my god. You can please inform your friends or your band. The deal is no longer on the table. Ah, fuck it, I shoot That's one way to end the game. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> What's the worst thing? Uh, do you have? Do you have quick no. draw? No. Not roll initiative. <laughs> Cool, you go first. <laughs> so, you have a bonus action, your action, and your movement. You are about 10 feet from her, unless you were stood right in front of her. Where were you stood? In front of her. Were you stood right in front of her? Or 10 feet back? No, I was still in kind of standoffish argument range. That, that doesn't help. Are you within 5 feet or within 10 feet? Within 10 feet, because it was probably going to be a shooting fight. Cool, so you don't have disadvantage. Fire. <laughs> Within arguing range. <laughs> oh, you. I argue up close, Dave. <laughs> I'm playing the wizard. <laughs> you fucking <can> not. <laughs> what did you roll? Uh, I haven't rolled it yet. Alright. So, first one is for heavy pistol. Let me just Ooh. get the Elizabeth up. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. First one's an eight. Cool. You Someone will be shocked to hear him. that whizzes over her head. So as you react really fast, you've just had a moment of whatever you want to call it, uh, and fired from the hip. <laughs> it's gone whizzing over her head. Do you use your bonus action to fire the other one? Yeah. Obviously. Fire. <laughs> so that one doesn't get the attack bonus, does it? It doesn't um, get the, yeah, it only gets your proficiency, mate. So it will be whatever your dex is, take your dex off. Cool. Damn it, Rose. <laughs> Don't blame me some Rose, you brought it on yourself, lad. <laughs> that was nice. Wow. So you're literally like, ah, fuck it, I'll show you. Ba 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 ba
Elizabeth don't flinch. Doesn't flinch in the slightest. She does, however, <laughs> look at you really sternly. <laughs> 22. What's your AC, Gib? 15. 15. Cool. You see her left eye completely black over. So it's just a black orb within her eye. Yep. And then, the next thing you know, your vision goes completely black. And you take a lot of damage. <laughs> you take 10 points of uh, force damage. Give me a reflex save. You feel a crushing weight surround you as your eyes go black. Or your sight goes black. Eight. Reflex save. You are now prone as you are squashed to the floor. And you've taken ten points. Are you still up? Yep. With her bonus action, <laughs> she will point her finger at you. Yep. <laughs> Give me a mind save to take half damage. <laughs> 90. Cool, you take half damage. Or you want hit point, Dave? You take five points of psychic damage. As I rolled a 10 on a d10. <laughs> Are you still conscious, Gabe? Yes. You, how cool. well did you roll your... She will now move and stand next to you. Oh, God. You simply hear the words, if you wish to die, stand up. Your go. <laughs> Can I see? Nope. Huh. I'll stay lying there. Cool. Do you wish to remain in initiative? <laughs> I need to know, because if you have actions that take place, this is in initiative. Hang on. <laughs> Don't be having a bloody moment now. I'm just reminding myself of my character's motivations. <laughs> to die as quickly Mate, as should have done that two hours ago. <laughs> it says here, if it can't be solved with a bullet in somebody's brain, it isn't a real problem. It's <laughs> 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 not specific. Do you, like, I just gave drinking Ron Seal every day. <laughs> <laughs> So do you forego your action to stay on the floor? Yeah, go on. Yeah. I'll do something smart for once. <laughs> so, you're now out of initiative. We can quickly go back into it depending on what you're doing. <laughs> she stays stood right next to you. So within five feet, Gabe. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're still blinded. Can I, can I tell she stood right next to me? Yeah, your feet will come towards you, yeah. Oh God! Uh, please leave. Loved it, can't say. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. We thank you for your uh, non-assistance. Have a nice day, and then you feel her walk away. Does this sign ever come back? <laughs> yeah. what, no, it's not come up. And you can hear noise, and you hear what you assume the mag crate to be moving and footsteps on the wooden dock getting quieter and quieter give me a fortitude save no cool <laughs> you remain blinded <laughs> well at least holds my guns so you are laid just like half on the dock half on the like sandy bit uh, blinded with your holsters, uh, with your guns in your holsters. Yeah. Do you tell anyone? <laughs> oh, copper. Yeah. Sapphire says, "What were those two gunshots?" <laughs> well, I didn't hear any. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sold out, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cobbers like that. Don't worry, top is not. Oh no, no. Well, no, about it. Like, Give me a perception check. It's, it's real easy. It's, one of them's an heavy gun. Heavy. Oh, okay. I got a fourteen, which ah yeah, that's no, sort of near yeah. the ten. Yeah, so you heard the. Okay. And it wouldn't. He's not. Can I tell the direction? Yeah. yeah. You so you essentially look back. Yeah. You assume it's Gabe. Right. So like, okay. Gabe, I'm hearing gunshots. Are you okay? And then you see this person uh, hit the deck. There's like a little. Oh, can I? Am I close enough to actually see him? You're about um, fifty feet down the beach. Oh, okay. Sixty feet okay, down the okay. beach. Um, I've assumed you've gone towards the fishing boat. Yeah. Yeah. So you're about 50, 60 feet down the down the way. You turn around. Um, it looks remarkably like Gabe mixed in with the okay. lizard folk. Um, you see somebody with a very straight haircut. You yeah. can't see detail. There's a mag box in front of them. They're exchanging words. You can't hear. You so you're far enough away that you can't hear, but you mm-hmm. can see these two shapes talking. Mm-hmm. And then you see Gabe. Bam bam. Then you see uh, him envel- uh, oh. enveloped in some sort of black mass. Yeah. And then Gabe's on the floor. Yeah. The person with the straight haircut steps forward and then fucks off with the mag trade along the dock. Um, yeah, as soon as I see that, then I'll. Um, Do you turn transmit off? Or are you still on transmit? I'm just on transmit. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, you hear the voice of Sapphire. Do you want to die? What? Why? She's speaking. What? She's speaking at you. Yeah. But not at you. Okay. It's like somebody gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear her voice come through. You can assume she's talking to you or Copper, it's entirely up to you. So, no, no, I, I don't want to die. So, um, Gabe, we're going to uh, head over to you. Are you okay? Do you need help? Uh, no. No, you don't want help? To which no, question? Yes. <laughs> do you want us to come and help you? Uh, might need it. Okay. Jogging towards him, running Jogging. up. Sapphire. Yeah. Just, no, it's nice on the beach, you Sapphire, know. Sapphire, Sapphire says to you, um, just wait, it's copper. And you stop. And then you turn around and she's sort of staring. Now we can go. And you carry on. Okay. Again, you don't feel compelled. You just, it's just a good good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Gib, Sapphire and copper join you. You still laid on the floor or have you got up? I'm laying on the floor, so I don't fall off the dock. Uh, cool. I look out for the person that was with him and has, has walked away from the shop. You can there. just see them board in the yacht. Okay. We ain't getting made that Fine. Fine. Uh, as long as they're not like, looking back to check that he's still on the floor or anything, they're they just going to come back. No, don't come appear back. to give a Rice Krispies ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'll help Gabe up. So what? Control all, delete. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gabe, okay, let's get you up. I was happy we don't know this is happening. It's all happened simultaneously, has it? <laughs> as it goes. But we can't hear anything. Yeah, we don't know this is happening. No. Nope. Okay. I got jealous of the level of screw up. Do you, uh, Gabe, do you have any sort of like med packs, sort of nano pack type things? or? No, we're spent and I'm blind. <laughs> okay. Um, you have noticed that he's not looking at you. He's looking sort of past you. I mean, if there was a marker okay. there, we could probably find some that we really wanted to. Okay. Um, okay, let's get me back to the car. That, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Unless, would you, uh, I can take you to like whatever the like the local store or hospital is. Go, fuck it, let's go, excuse my language. Let's do that. You go looking for a, a, like a med centre type yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Just asking the. Just asking the. Well, give me. Give me the locals. Give me persuasion. Are you threatening them or are you trying to talk them around? What? Are you threatening them to tell you where to go? No, no, no. Uh, it seems to be having quite a nice chilled out move. <laughs> 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 give so, me a persuasion check. Um, yeah, 13. Copy. Cool. You, see a bright green dark you, um, you ask a couple uh, yeah. in between like the crew of the haulers Get that them. are not modded <laughs> yeah. and the modded lizard folk. Um, they point out that yeah. one of the like hard blocks that you walk past is a medical place, okay. <laughs> a place where they be doctor. There, yeah, there is okay. multiple terminology thrown at you, but essentially they claim that someone of doc skills yeah. is um, in that building just over there. Okay, so we'll, uh, I'll walk over there. Um, cool, you're walking. 
there is a um, so the the lass in there is a third way through her mods so she's got a long white jacket on that's been tie dyed so you can see the jacket base was white okay. but it's been tie dyed completely and then there's like the start of the scale tattoos one of her eyebrows is modded yeah it's like the worst two-faced cosplay you've ever seen um and she shaved half of her head and then the other bits to sort of scruff it's not long it's just like short spiky yeah. and like it's brushing over and you can see the scale tattoos going over the back okay she's on her way to being a lizard okay she just turns around she's like oh hello hello can you help my friend uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with her um, can you help this friend and she looks at Gabe and she waves in front of Gabe's eyes Gabe you'll feel the movement but you can't see anything I can't you got longs? Well, depends how long. Does he want both eyes or one eye? Okay, do you want my eye patch? What's wrong with them first? Yeah, you can't see. <laughs> that, I that. can see that. <laughs> then you should be a duck. <laughs> you look behind her and uh, it's just a cold bench. Yeah. That's big enough for a person, even you, to lay on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there are like two mechanical arms at the back that have got strange little implements on them, like like sharp implements, a bit of laser implements. Okay. It, it's 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 not it's not top of the range, mm -hmm. but you've seen these sort of things doing the arena stuff. Med bay you're, type yeah, thing. you're very used to the med bay budget price. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your days in the arena, you've yeah. probably been stitched up by a few of these. Um, and I'll see you all right. Okay. I'll see you all right. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Listen to the big one. And it works on synths, fine. There's no difference. It works on synths, fine. Okay. Insight uh, check. Who? Um, Not you, that copper. Uh, 16. 16. She has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the actual doctor here, or should I be speaking to somebody else? I am the actual doctor, and you believe me. <laughs> Okay. How There's no one else how in many, there. How many synths have you treated before? Three, which is lying. <laughs> is he a synth? Yeah. Right. Do you have any sort Got of like nanopacks for sale? Just straight up nanopacks for sale? Yeah, we've got nanopacks for sale. She's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you want? How much they cost? I'm trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Where now? What's the nano box? I'm cheap from that, right? Yeah, they're like, like, like a hundred ones, yeah? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just give them away. I can't, man. Yeah? Look in my pack, look in my bag, there's a torch in there, shining the eyes. Okay, from on um, shining the eyes. Ah, I found one. Uh, 40,000. What? Forty thousand dollars. Um, it's a good price. Oh. Give me an intelligence check. It is. <laughs> that is actually. <laughs> it is actually um, nine. Nine. Cool. Forty is a good price. Forty is expensive as far as you're concerned. Can I get in on that? I don't, I don't think you have. You can if you want. Yeah. Cheers, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> According to the book, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> so, um, I can't pay for this. Twenty-seven. Can you? Uh, together, I just know. You're not there, submarine. Really? <laughs> yeah. 27. But what? What were you rolling? What, 27,000 longs for a nano pack? No, that's how much you No, you said intelligence check. All oh, right, 27? Yeah. Did you do a save? Wait, no. That's not right. No, I, I read the wrong stat line. I was like, <laughs> did you just add the full thing rather than modify? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Three. Well, that's that's fair, right. <laughs> um, like me? They're fifty grand on the mainland. Uh, yeah, not my price. Right, Gabe, I can't afford this, and if we can't afford this, then we can't afford to get uh, fixed on the med bay. Um, can you afford this, and do you want it? Uh, as, oh, I have no idea whether I want it, but it's out of our price range. Okay, fine. Well, it's. What? We don't even know what's causing it. Okay. 
Okay, well in that case, I think you need to rest up a while. Yeah, but before we do, let's just find somewhere quiet and I'm going to talk you through checking me out. Okay. Has it worked, blind? <laughs> Cool, okay. so you, you find somewhere quiet. Well, go to the beach near the car if there's nobody else. Yeah, you find it's pretty quiet. Most of them are still working. Like, not, not an actual lot of time has passed while yeah, all yeah. this is going yeah. on. Just three hours of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, but yeah, so you get back near the car at the beach um, while you're checking them out. Okay, and you've got a first aid kit. You talk me through exactly what you want me to do with this. Yeah, so I'm going to use my medicine skills um, from sort of treating people in the past and the first aid kit to talk you through checking my reactions and eyeballs and stuff like that. I'm a qualified first aid or <laughs> As of today. Why not? <laughs> so while you are checking each other out, can you give me a medicine check with advantage? Okay. So that's a nine. With advantage. With advantage. It was a seven and a ten, and my modifier is minus one. Cool. So, <laughs> Gabe is. That's a horrid face. Fit and I've, healthy. I've as far as you are concerned, he's yeah. fit and healthy, and unfortunately blind for the rest of his life. Yeah, I could not find anything wrong with you, Gabe. It looks like this might be permanent. You see a text message. On yeah, the stick. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Only copper sees it. Yeah. He's dangerous. <laughs> That's what the text message says. Yep. Hey, April. Yeah. I'll, I'll look, look over to Sapphire. She's just stood there looking at you. <laughs> um, everybody is in the way. You are. I am. Okay. What? That's a lie. You play charades with that? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing, Gabe. Sounds like. Is it a book? <laughs> yes. Has it got bumps in it? Otherwise you can't read it. Oh. <laughs> you see another text message. Yeah. Do you want me to help you? Yes, absolutely. You feel um, very, very, very soft hands on your face, like on each cheek, like she's cupping your face. Yep. My God, Copper, what do you moisturise with? <laughs> Antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of scent. Uh, it's not. It's not a good bedside manner. <laughs> uh, give me a fortitude save as you start hearing a high pitched noise in in your mind. You don't hear nothing, Copper. Uh, oh, God. Uh, you're out cold, man. <laughs> it's like there's an explosion in your head. You go out. What you see yeah. is a little bit. So. The black orbs that were over his eyes, yeah. uh, all of a sudden, Gabe passes out, you step forward to obviously, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? And it's like um, the liquid starts falling away from his eyes, okay. but on closer inspection, that it's almost, uh, you swear you see the legs. Like there's, oh. like, there's a, like they got together and formed a blanking space over his eyes, and they sort of just like crumble, crumble, and it's like a, a gooey, Bits of you could probably fish through and find mini nano spiders, mini, yeah, oh, mini, mini, mini nano creatures, creatures. creatures and they just yeah. sort of die and fizzle. So they're like liquid and tiny, mm. tiny bits of um synthetic material. Thank you, Sapphire. And I think it probably uh gave needs a bit of a rest. He, he will require a good evening, yes. Mm. Shall we put him in the jeep? Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally slams the door on his face. the dog anyway. Submarine people. <laughs> we ain't going to die. At least we're not very zen. So this splitting apart is ridiculous. Yeah, so we'll, we'll try to get back together. Right, so. With our new characters. <laughs> <laughs> so who's playing Sapphire? <laughs> Well, she looks like me. It's and like she rolls like you, I think, as well. <laughs> it's alright, he's playing the dock. You're just going to go with that. So, the tractor beam. Mm. Uh, you're getting closer. As you get closer and closer, the, it's getting real tight now because you don't know a couple of minutes there. And you can feel that, like, <laughs> like you're coughing. It's not as clean air as you're used to. You've got the uh, breathing apparatus ready, but you both know it's for water purposes. Um, 
now you're closer and you look out, it looks like an armoured whale. Like it's very obviously armoured whale. Like it's not a, it's not a whale that's um, wearing armour. Someone's clearly made it out to look like a whale, and it just looked. It's blatantly obvious. Now you can see it. What you are aware of, or what you work out between yourselves more from Volk, is the reason it's shaped like that is if people start looking at it on radars and stuff, it looks like a whale. Shape, everything. It's only because you guys are really close. It's clearly just a massive underwater vessel. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So, and it does indeed pull you into its mouth. Try to be called it. This yep. is probably the thing we were trying to find. Not necessarily. Hopefully it is. We're going to find out. Hmm. So, clearly a vessel. Both of you give me perception checks on the way in. And Holly. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Uh, awesome. Why? I've got a plus five. I got a plus six. Yeah, so, uh, both with your um, perception checks, as you're coming into the mouth, you can both see, like either side of the mouth, um, you see a picture of a sickle, but the size of it would be uh, like a good six foot, like by six foot, if it was, if you saw it painted in front of you. Is there a hammer as well? Nope. Cool. The hammer's on the other side. <laughs> Just a sickle. Yep. Is it red? It is. Is there a star? Nope. Do we recognise that there's a logo for our company? Uh, give me both of you. Give me intelligence checks. Uh, Sixteen. Eight. Oh, we got all the pirate uniforms. Yeah. Neither of you have any knowledge of a corporation, mega or otherwise, that has this symbol. Okay. Oh. Putin. Well, just throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs> mega Putin. Uh, no problems at all. No. When you finally get into the mouth, yeah. you're on your gasps of air. Both of you give me fortitude saves. As you now, you now hear the submarine. Poof, it's hit. It's hit something solid. It sort of tips. You guys fall. So it's no longer a thing. It's on its side. Um, you, your last like vision of there's no water out there and you can see loads of people and you can't really focus on what these people are and stuff but your air just practically goes what'd you get? Eight. you're out cold? 19 cool you're fine you just see Volk sort of stamp, uh, stagger against sides the shape of it, it knocks him to the floor eyes close you swear he's not breathing you're, you're right on you you drop to your knees you're right next to Volk and then you see the wheel spin mm -hmm. And uh, it goes, and you um, not pass out, but you're on the floor weakened. Yep, you do recognise the very familiar sound of. We'll go with guns if that's the noise that guns make. But uh, there are two or three people in front of you. You can just see the books. Um, you're in and out with consciousness on your 19. Um, the guns aimed at you. They're speaking Russian. You don't speak Russian, do you? It's you that speaks Russian. Yeah. You speak in Russian very angrily. Um, and they're aiming rifles at you. Uh, give me another fortitude set. I'm holding. <laughs> you die. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you stay conscious. Um, but you are weak. Not certainly even weak. <laughs> um, you are weak and you can't really fight back as you get hoisted to your feet but you're still conscious. You see them dragging. Um, they don't go further down the sub, they drag you out of the glass window. And of course they're inconsiderate twice. You take three points of piercing damage, Bulk. You take four points of piercing damage, Kelpie. Lucky you. Reduce, reduce to two, because you're conscious. So you're sort of like, Thank trying you. not to Thank slash yourself to pieces. You'll just drag through. That would be bloodied. And the unconscious well, anti-freezy. Oh, anti-freezy, yes. <laughs> um, That's just canon now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're now in there. You can. This is a massive um, internal docking area where you can see. Obviously, you sort of look over your shoulder and the subs there. Um, you can see land vehicles parked up in this area. So just APCs carry two to four people. Um, you can see a helicopter 
that has no propellers, but it is definitely a helicopter off to the far side. Um, it is jet black with the red sickle on it. And so the image on it is a black bear and a red sickle. But the black bear and the black of the helicopter, there's a slight offness to the blacks. So you can see it, but not see it. So like uh, when you have a slightly shiny black on a matte black. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. that, exactly that. Um, ding, 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 ding. Should we wrap it there? Uh, yeah, I'm about to. Um, you look around, it don't take you long again in and out of consciousness. You just hear the boof, doof, boof as they're dragging um, folk. They're not stopping. There's more people now, like more boots uh, next to you. You're sort of looking around and you can see crew, none of them around and stuff, just crew rocking around. Um, just by the numbers that you see and the size of the thing, you have a quick like a couple hundred people on this vessel easy, that it gets. You hear the, you hear a zoo, uh, the first zoo is followed by a boof, and the second one is followed by you going boof into a small room with a, with a bench, and it goes and you have like a red uh, energy field in front of your doorway, you're in a cell, and um, you just see a couple of people take, like, thingy outside these cell doors. Post. Uh, post, yeah. And um, you pass on. Oh. And we'll leave rest. it there. We shall leave it there. <laughs> Is that passing on the long rest? <laughs> we'll get to that next week. <laughs> oh, so. Did they take our equipment? Uh, yeah, yeah. You've had all your equipment taken off you as you get in the cell. Even my when, hidden stuff. When you wake up, all your stuff will have gone. Even my hidden stuff. So, um, thank you very much for watching. If you're still watching, great. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, subscribe to YouTube, to Twitch, follow the notifications, social media, get on there and do it. Remember, Dragon Turtle Games are the folks that have done Carbon 2185. Psychic Games have got a couple of copies left. Uh, Dragon Turtle themselves have thrown out a few more with only a couple of copies left. You can find them. Facebook, so again, they're all over social media. It's a cracking cyberpunk game. It's based on 5e rules of certain RPGs. Uh, it's really good. Thank you very much to Lauren, Dave, Ian, and Leon. Uh, next week, I believe Leon will be Skyping in. Oh, yeah. Um, He's going to miss Kate. Through modern tech. Oh. He has to say that. Yeah, it's my birthday next week. Oh. Are you turning up on your birthday? I, well, it's my birthday on Thursday, but I am turning up. You're turning up session. on your birthday, Lauren. Are you turning up on your birthday, Lauren? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, I get the hint. Because <laughs> um, you're subtle on that. I get off You're subtle as gay, yeah. Jesus. Thank, Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> Love you all. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Keep, keep waving while I press the buttons. Yeah, bye. <laughs>